Shut up and sit down. Welcome, everybody, to the 3 POA Podcast, episode 46. I'm your host, Laser Pants, also known as Ryan. I am joined, as always, by my good friend and yours, the man behind Analog Toys, and the desert rat himself, Tony Roberts. What's up, Tony? <laughs> Not much, man. Not much. How you been episode down there? Episode 46. 46 that, that means almost two years i can't believe i've suffered for this long <laughs> oh please you are so fortunate to be friends with me i hate you ryan oh, you don't i i don't i don't believe you <laughs> you only smile like that at me eh, i mean what what <laughs> what the hell is that <laughs> I just well, I don't know if... watching when she when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bobby's running a little bit late, like always. He's fired. Yeah, he big time Bobby. You know, he thinks he's a celebrity or something. Um, we have a great guest for you tonight, but I want to take just a minute to first of all thank all ten of you that have become channel members. Uh, we started channel membership today on the channel. It went live earlier. Um, so there's some good perks. You can hit the join button down there. If you're on an Apple device, you have to like download a Chrome browser. It, it, it won't work on the Apple iTunes app. So you have to do it a different way, like on your PC or something. But if you want to join support the channel, you can, if you don't want to, that's fine too. No big deal. You know, whatever, but it's much appreciated. Um, and by the way, Quentin, Quentin Bedwell, our good friend, Quentin Bedwell was the first channel member. So thank you, Quentin. Uh, he is an excellent artist and uh, a good dude. Hmm. So of everyone that has been asked of me to bring on the show, this guy, <laughs> more than anyone, was asked. And that is the one and only Mad Hatter. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, guys? Is How that you been? Is that the audience? Is that I, I thought I was gonna have some uh, fucking entrance music here or something? Isn't that how it works? <laughs> uh, I could, I could. Let's see, what entrance music do I have? I want. What's that? What's that? Well, you know what? I don't want. I don't want you to get a copyright strike or, a, or a, you know, what's that? I'll just sing it. What's the? That's a horrible. That's oh. not a. That's not good entrance music, there. Sorry. I'm just gonna. That's, that, it, it almost yeah, sounded like a fucking fart. What you choice. just did. Um. So. Hello, hi chat, hi three POA. <laughs> oh man, I'm doing great. I actually had a pretty nice little Saturday. Okay, all right. You well, know, it's, it's I... about to get a lot worse, buddy, because I'm on this fucking channel now. <laughs> great news, guys. Bobby Vala out. I'm the third three POA. Big announcement. Okay, so uh, we just. He has to. He's busy doing cool action force shit. He's going to focus mm. on that. Uh, no big deal. But um, big, I mean, that's a big, that's a huge announcement. I thought I would, I would be the one to make it. Well, thank you for that. Um, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and <laughs> that's actually true. Bobby is out and you're in uh, until he shows up tonight. Oh, uh, that's right. And then, and then I just get kicked right the fuck out, right? No, you, well, you'll stay. You'll stay. Okay. But uh, just for this show. 
Yeah. Um, man, first of all, I, I, <laughs> I have to, uh, I didn't think it was going to be like this, but we, we're getting channel members. So, uh, look at look 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 at all these wait you guys just started your channel membership today right today yeah yeah well congratulations yeah, um, cute, cute tube. yeah thanks for letting me know <laughs> hey i i didn't know that i pushed the button and then it's up i thought there was another step but i pushed that button and it's like oh it's live oh no <laughs> so it's here but cube tube thank you for becoming a channel member cc grim thank you sir uh, M Vargo 97, our good buddy, M Vargo. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Bradley Pendel. <laughs> and guys, just, just to let you know, I get a cut of this channel membership. So every time you, you, you sign up, I get, I don't know. What is it, Ryan? Like fucking like 50 cents or something like for each one. I there, was some way, kind of, um, there was some kind of negotiation we made. So just keep the 28 coming. cents after tax. I send yeah. you How one come you get point? a cut? No, I don't get a cut. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's like the special <laughs> guest cut. Dude, I live oh. in LA. I need all the money I can get. It's fucking expensive. Fair enough. Dude, <laughs> dude. I mean, your taxes are out of control. It's insane. I, dude, it's wild. <laughs> my my buddy lives in San Diego. He was showing me the prices of, of Marvel Legends at his Target. They're thirty three forty nine. I I just passed on a Marvel Legends. I just went to Target. I saw the Black Widow. She was great. Mm. But I was like, I don't want to spend thirty four dollars right now. I just, I was like, this doesn't, it doesn't feel right. So I just fucking, I just bailed. That's, that's nuts. Um, <laughs> I bought that Black Widow, and she's great, but she was twenty seven. She was twenty seven. Okay, 27. Maybe, maybe that's like uh, uh, your neck of the woods kind of special discount. You guys got the California markup, man. I know it sucks. That's crazy. It's, uh, it's, we do. If you ever see like when we buy shit in California, I don't know how it works in Washington. But there's all these like it's like a fucking giant receipt of like taxes that you got to pay. I don't know like half of what what those taxes are, yeah. but they all add up. And yeah, so I I think that widow altogether was like it, it was going to be like thirty five bucks. I was like, nah, I'm I'm good. I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, Bradley, thank you, Bradley. Earl Potts, thank you, sir, for becoming a member. Um, who was this? The EOD King, thank you, sir, for becoming a member. Oh man, our buddy Scott tremendous. Hughes. They're rolling in, man. Uh, thank oh, you, Scott. Uh, Just Jeff, thank you. Uh, Wraith Mace, thank you, sir. Uh, Drew G, good friend of the channel. Drew G, thank you, sir. Rich O'Reilly, thank you. Ammo to go, man, thank you, guys. Um, and Kevin D'Antonio, thanks for becoming a member, man. You guys are awesome. Uh, I was not, I seriously was not expecting this many people to sign up. I thought I'd have like five people and I do an awkward, like members only live stream where there's one person watching. Uh, <laughs> I know, but Ryan, can you not, can you not do like the fucking fake humble thing? You knew, you know, you got the shit. Okay. Listen, you know, man. you know, you got the fucking goods and that people would just be pouring in. Okay. Let's what are the not, goods? Let's not, Let's let's be cocky today, okay? Let's not let's not do the do want... the humility thing. Okay? How, okay, how do I do that? <laughs> how, how do you do, I that? do that? Like I mean, what? Like I don't know. You're, you just you're, be... you're me now. You're me. Okay. Well, so I'm you're not, gonna I'm, play you know what? I'm not gonna. I can't do an impression of you. Uh, by the way, uh, fantastic impression is people told. <laughs> <laughs> the, Ryan, the Ryan Mad Hat. You don't know how many people hit me up and they're like, dude, you got to fucking check out Laser Pants' impression of you. And then you made me look like a fool with the hand movements and all that stuff. It was. Uh... Listen, it's not it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard. Yo, it's not. I, I like I like. And the, and the turn to the side. I like that. Yeah. It's, it's always it's a turn good. to the side. That's good. So what do what people get for channel memberships? Yeah, I want to know that, too. OK, so the the tater tot level, you get the uh, the whole uh, emoji. You get the, um, the 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 custom emojis, the badge, your your name highlighted. I have Let's to see some of those them. custom emojis in the chat. Channel members, let's blow up the chat with some custom emojis. I have to, I have to pull card. up what I put the what I put the tears at because I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, let's see here. I got to go over here. Um, where is it? Aha, there it is. Membership levels. Okay. Tater Tot, you get the loyalty badges emoji and member shout outs in the description. And I'm going to have like an in card. I'm going to add every member to an in card uh, to every video or live stream we do. Uh, and then the load of potato, you get all those perks plus the three POA after show, oh, which will shit. be after each episode of the three POA. It will be 
mostly me, but when uh, time allows for Tony or Bobby to hop on, they'll hop on too. Um, and then you'll get a monthly exclusive video at the uh, load of potato level. Those are the perks. How's that I sound? Like, uh, I like labeling it load, loaded potato. That's pretty fucking cool. Well, right? this whole white potato thing kind of took off. Okay. All I right. don't know if you knew about that. You said you listened I, I, to the show. I guess that was a lie. Listen, Ryan. Okay. I fucking, you, I'm going to close my eyes. You fucking test me on all your, all, all my three POA knowledge. Okay. I, how would I know about your fabulous impressions mm. if I didn't? Uh... <laughs> well, uh, you said like 25 people told you. told you. <laughs> oh, wait. That's right. That's right. By the way, can we talk about how like Ryan, uh, for, for his thumbnails, he looks all suave and slick. And then for mine, he just makes me look like a fucking uh, caveman, okay? Like I want, I want a nice, handsome um, uh, uh, thumbnail, okay? How come, how come you don't give me one, man? I was gonna, I was gonna reach out to you for like a headshot, but I was like, well, I can just screenshot something from a video. I know, but you made me look like a, either I smoked a fucking shoebox full of hash, <laughs> or I'm like missing like a fucking chromosome, okay? I'm just saying that we, you know, we're trying to get girls to watch this. You know, you got to fucking there's let girls. Me, let me send you. Let me send you some some nice headshots with the nice lighting and everything. That's all I'm oh, saying. Hey, okay. You want me to update the thumbnail? You send me one. I want you just like. <laughs> yeah. I, and next time. Next time. I'm going to do the uh, the Sears catalog uh, uh, version. Mm, that'll but, be very uh, nice. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're still waiting on Bobby. But let, uh, look, man, I got super chats here. We're, I want to talk about San Diego Comic-Con stuff. I don't know about you guys. I think NECA won. NECA the... won Comic-Con. I would yeah. say... Yeah, I think over I mean look, I'm a fucking biased asshole. You know, <laughs> everybody's gonna be like, oh, NECA fanboy, but I'll say I, I, just my opinion, I would say NECA won. There was a new company that I really liked. There should syndicate collectibles. They were up there for me. G.I. Joe also was up there in terms of just the fucking reveals. Uh, but I think NECA won is a good I think it's a good uh good estimation. Classified had a strong showing too. They did. Definitely, they definitely they did. Fucking did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think. I think the difference though with, with with Classified and like NECA had actual product. Classified's doing that whole render reveal thing, and as we learned from figures yeah. like Falcon, you know, the render looked good, and then the actual figure, you know, looked like <laughs> Julia. Looks like <laughs> Julia Roberts. Look like, uh, <laughs> look like Courtney Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Court, Courtney Cox circa 2019. Um, Our friend Ace is here. He wants to know what uh, <laughs> Johnny Crowdfund has to say. Johnny. <laughs> Poor Johnny Crowdfund. It was weird. That. Uh, what's up, Ace? Um, they Did you guys see like at midnight on that day or on that night? I don't know if a hacker got into the fucking Mattel creation site or something, but like they were up to like, it was like in the millions or something like that. And then uh, um, I guess some Mattel guy got woken up at night, like the fucking Pentagon and like, dude, something's <laughs> going on, take it down. And then they had to fucking shut it down. It was an angry uh, Mattel employee, I think. You think that's Stupid what it was? fans won't buy the gate for 250 bucks. <laughs> I'll show them a million, a million backers. I bet. Uh, by by the way, that gate. I don't care what any coverage says. I didn't watch any coverage except the one that I did. Uh, that gate is vastly underwhelming in person. It was <laughs> yeah. not worth. It it's a hundred hundred dollar gate all day. It's got the flickering lights. Really reminds me of like when you have a fucking wedding and you buy those little little tea lights or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was like that same energy. The goat, whatever. Who cares? I, 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 it was such like the setup was nice. It was nice in person, but it was like, and I was like shitting on it in the booth, and like there was like a Mattel guy who's like, I, I swear I caught eyes with him, and he's like, yeah, I know it does fucking suck. <laughs> I, it, it's it, it was super underwhelming, and usually I like to give things a chance in person, but I mean that gate. I don't know what they were thinking. I have no, I have no clue why how they looked at that gate. <laughs> it said 200 I, how, how did it even get close to 250 dollars? i have no idea i mean the way they had it displayed at san diego in that case with the whole dial around it with the trees and the grass and all that for 250 okay but just the gate with a couple of fences even with the dinosaur oh. and the truck 
Not Dude, if you're talking about the whole thing, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in on all that. But just as just the dumb gate that you're let's face it, you're gonna press the fucking button every year or so and open it just to impress your dumb friends. Like it's <laughs> it's uh there, there's nothing there's nothing to it, man. And so I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know who pulled the trigger on that, but I'm assuming that guy's fired. So Johnny Crowdfund Ace, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but uh <laughs> He's out. He's he's out. Yeah, he's out. He's uh <laughs> he just uh got hired on at uh Hasbro now. That's true. He's That's on their right. Power Rangers team, which is uh going on pause. That's it. But I do agree with Tony about the uh the reveals. So it's like the after the reveals, I wasn't there for all that. I, I dude, I couldn't get into the panel. And and uh, the the it, it it was real tight, the Hasbro panel. I was real excited, dude. The the vamp, I uh, the reveals that they had later, the render reveals were a lot more exciting, I thought. But they did have some shit at the, that fucking mutt and junkyard. Yeah, that was one of my top. Uh, uh, that had to be one of my top like surprise reveals uh, uh, at the at the con. I I, I fell it looked in love good, with that. man. Yeah, it looked, it looked good. Great. <laughs> uh, Scuba Pete, thank you, Scuba. He says, just don't touch Laser Pants' member. <laughs> Too late. Too late, Scuba Pete. That's the secret hidden tier. That's a lot. That costs a lot That's more. That's true. Why do yeah. you think, I, how do you think I got on the three POA? <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. <laughs> you, you, do you understand that You understand that everybody that gets on here has to do something they're not proud of? And that's how it works. So, yeah. Hey, look, that that video is coming to Manhattan Channel Ryan. very soon. You know, <laughs> what did you say, Tony? I know what Ryan will do for $5. I know. That's true. That's <laughs> You I've seen it. Man. <laughs> you can touch his member and his ship. I know. That. I want I want to become a member. Uh, uh. <laughs> M. Vargo, 97. Thank you, sir. Looking forward to seeing you again at PowerCon in like two weeks. Yeah, hell yeah. Wait, you, you, so you're going to PowerCon? I'm going to PowerCon. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm Very helping cool. Bobby run the, uh, the booth there. Is that two weeks from today? That is... A week and a half from today. That's I, well. I fly out Wednesday. I think the first day of the con is Friday. So there's Our no con. there's no three POA in two weeks. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, there will not be. Maybe next weekend. You want to do one next weekend, Tony? Uh, yeah. If I can, I think I can. Yeah. Hey Ryan, can you maybe get it together and let people that are part of your show know that th there's not going to be a fucking. <sighs> A fucking show so they can do something. I mean, that's I'm just also part of the that's also part of the secret tier. That's so it. Two, <laughs> yeah. two years ago, yeah. two years ago, we started this shitty channel, and I, I invited Ryan to to be a host, and then <laughs> it took over. And I don't get consulted about anything. I what's this channel membership stuff? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> you didn't tell. Hold on, you didn't tell. Your 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 you guys are 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 all equal. See, this is a democracy. That is not true. He knew because he gave me the ideas for some of the tiers. I was trying to come oh. up with stuff. Okay. So just Tony, yeah, yeah. I know, but you could. <laughs> you know you what could else fucking, is true? Uh, you this is not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're uh, an oligarch. You're, is that the word? I forget. All right. Yeah. Monarch. <laughs> monarch dictator. Mo yeah, you're a monarch. Uh, Impossible Pie. Thank you for becoming a member, Jeff W. Thank you, sir, for the super chat. Hey, Tony Hatter and Laser Pants. Is there a 50 pound sack of Idaho Russets level? Uh, that's the one I'm talking about. That's uh, very exclusive. <laughs> You'll have to uh, DM me. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Um, hey, look at this. Look at this. We got a we got a question here from uh, Jason Keen. Yeah, I, I I started this. So Jason Keen's asking my thoughts on the new Big Ben figure. So I did a video a while back just based off of the render reveal. Uh, I know Ryan is uh, trying to get me a Big Ben figure, but I actually paid way above retail to get this figure early from Taiwan. It's on its way here. Um, I've written like an eight-page script uh, where I'm covering Big Ben. This is going to be a an oh, epic wow. video. I'm just going to wait for the figure to arrive. So cool. cool. Stay tuned. To look out for that. It looks great in person. That was one I of have some thoughts. <laughs> yeah, some thoughts. Oh, I mean, you're going to be a lot more critical than I am on the classified side, but uh, 
Uh, particularly, particularly this figure, you know, this guy is British SAS and that's who I serve with. So oh, I'm coming right. at it from, I, I, I'm not doing an action figure review. I'm approaching this as a, is this the type of equipment, weaponry, uniform that the SAS would carry? What's wrong with it? What's right? Yeah. Uh, I don't completely hate the figure, but they made a lot of boneheaded decisions. So, Got it. Yeah, I feel like, Tony, I feel like you review shit on, like, another level when it comes to the, especially the military stuff. And, uh, you know, it's Thank like, you, man. yeah, and I would hate to, <laughs> I would hate to be the guy who's, like, releasing stuff and he's not up to, like, if I was making military figures, I wouldn't know shit. Uh, so it's like, sometimes I guess it, it, there's a benefit of making things like Thundercats and He-Man figures because there's nothing, there's no tether to reality. But like as soon yeah. as you jump into that pool of like this is based on something, then you are beholden to the cross. You have to, the, mm. the cross examination. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Well, and speaking of speaking of people who make military action figures and don't know what they're doing, there's someone in the green room. <laughs> there is. And it's the one and only Bobby Vella. I definitely, definitely don't know what I'm doing. No idea. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm the one guy out there that has no idea what he's doing. I like that, though. I like well, that. Just giving giving him money for not doing, listen, not knowing what he's doing. I love it. All, all these, these you, like, <laughs> listen, man, you want to be a YouTuber and then all of a sudden think you want to make toys? You probably have a better understanding of it than I do. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy! Because if they they definitely know what they're doing, so I I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'll tell you this: you're the first toy maker that I've seen ask their fans, "How do you think? How do you want? How do you want me to do this?" Because you uploaded a video today. I did asking did. for input. So how's that going? Have you read the comments yet? I'm afraid to go in there. So I I, I did a little <laughs> bit for the first like two hours. I did, mm -hmm. and. I think I said it. I said it a few weeks ago about the ninety ten rule about about fans. Ninety percent of them are fantastic. Ten percent of them are they need, they need some 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 improvements. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I just I, I think it's funny. I mean, listen, I I think you know Ryan and I and, and Tony and Hatter, you have a channel, so you you go about it your own way. But it's like I. I I don't I get emotional about the, the toy collecting, but I feel like some people take it to another level and not that I don't want people to be emotional about it. But I would never like if I if I were a collector and I saw the video go up and I wanted to, to say I would just be like, yeah, I like this or no, nah, it's not really a good idea. The books and like essays that I'm getting. Also, it's like I say in the video, listen, I I'm trying to keep it streamlined. I don't want, don't, it, we're either doing it this way or not at all. I don't need ideas. I don't want, yeah, but it would be better if it was this. No, 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 no. That wasn't the assignment. The assignment <laughs> and the lesson that we studied in class was this. Not, no, 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 no. I want to do, I want it this way though. I want it this way. Like, and if it's not that way, I'm selling all my action force yeah. and I'm done with the line. Yeah. But also like the, some of the visceral reactions that people have to it. Like, and I get it. And this, listen, this is why I put it out there. And that's why I said, I wanted to hear from people who send in the points and, and what they feel about it, because it's their, their voice is, is just as important, if not more important than, than anyone else, because Listen, they went through the trenches. The visceral reaction some of them have. And it's like, guys, I didn't say I'm doing this. I said, look, we're, we're looking for a few. Just people just losing it. And listen, I did, <laughs> Man. You know, it's like I did ask for feedback, but it's just very interesting seeing the 90% and then seeing the 10%. Mm. But you know, it's like, this is how you were going to do it because I, I wasn't sure how it was going to come in. I mean, just by reading some of the comments, I haven't, you know, I'm going to tally all of them and figure it out, but it's like, you know, I wanted it to be easy. Like, Oh, that's a yes. Oh, that's a no. But when I get the people that are like, uh, yeah, I see where you're coming from, but I would do it this way. 
your vote doesn't matter because that's not what I asked for. I asked for <laughs> yes or no, not your idea. I didn't ask for ideas. I said this was the idea. So those aren't going to count. So I got to like weed through that stuff and get rid of those and tally it all up. It looks like it's like 50 50. However, but it, you know, it's like a lot of people are making very, very good points. Um, what is it? <laughs> Thank you, Rod Talk Real Deal. Hey, CC Grimm, channel member for uh, one day, he has a, a suggestion for me. Why not do a poll on here about Condor's action points? Should I put a poll in the chat? I don't care about this show. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Fine. Anyway. Um, I, 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 ha I have an opinion because last night I stayed up and I have this envelope right here. <laughs> and it's full of these beautiful fucking action points that, that I had to cut out. I cut them all out. I cut out 40 of them. And my wife is like... Why are you cutting all of these boxes? And so me, a grown man, had to do all this up until the wee hours only to find out that I could. No, I'm, I, whatever you choose is obviously <laughs> the fucking best choice. But well, uh, listen, I mean, <laughs> I mean, listen, there are a lot of people that are very upset that they took so much time to cut the stuff out. <laughs> I mean, I've cut the points out. I didn't think it was that strenuous of an activity. I got carpal tunnel. No, but I'm very, I'm very lazy. So really, any movement for me is, uh, <laughs> is just uh, work. But uh, I like the action. But do people not? Li I like that's uh, such like a fucking throwback thing where you cut out the thing and you send the, you know, like the old yeah. mumra. How that worked? Like, yep. I, what, like, yep. and 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 I isn't does it? May, maybe I maybe I misunderstood, but like you're paying less if you have the action points. So uh, yeah, but doesn't some, it balance people... out? Yeah, some people aren't seeing it that way. Some people, they feel like they went through the work and they followed the instructions, which, again, this is what the promotion was all about. So they feel like, no, I did it right. So you shouldn't give people an opportunity, even though they're paying three times more for a figure than you did. Sometimes people are all about principle, you know? The thing and that... It got, it got some people into scrapbooking, you know? So they should be <laughs> thankful that you did. a new hobby. Sure I did. Mean, look, I, I made a lot of cuts. I made a lot of cuts I'll be back. this thing right here. Um, I mean, look you know, at this scrapbook. The, it's beautiful. One of the points that, that you know, was, was brought up about this was why it's a good option is because, listen, the people overseas, it's so much harder for them to get the points here. You know, it costs more. You know, sometimes I know the people with the visceral reactions. I get it. You feel strongly about something. Maybe step back and look at it from other people's point of view. Maybe stick back and say, ah, oh, that guy that's in India or Australia, he's got to pay a hell of a lot more than me to get his points there. And he doesn't get the $8 flat rate shipping that you guys get. He's got to pay full price shipping, you know? So maybe take a step back and just relax and then say, oh, maybe it's not just about me. Maybe, you know, maybe there are people out there that that are having a hard time getting it because I got a lot of people saying, listen, it's I'm in the UK or I'm here, I'm, I'm there. And it's hard for me to, to get this stuff in there. And it becomes very, very expensive for those people. So, you know, stop hmm. thinking about yourself sometimes and try to think about the entire audience. You know, I personally don't care how people get a covert contour. <laughs> I cut out, I cut out all my points and I pulled them out and I handed them to Jordan. And he's like, why don't you just keep them? Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 I'm doing it by the book. We're going by the book here. I want to experience yeah, is. this. I want to experience handing my points over and getting a covert condor. And, and I did it. And it there nice. is something fun. I will say, with all due respect to the international people, I, I will say there is something fun about the cutting out of the points and I'm going to send the thing in and it's only going to be $14. I mean, times two or whatever. But like, I also feel that like, again, maybe I'm uh, coming at it from a different perspective, but like, the you know there is a condor this is kind of like almost like a variant condor like is it like the necessary like the super necessary it, it, it almost felt like this is like it's like an exclusive it felt like mm -hmm. it's like a comic-con exclusive type but may, maybe that's the maybe that's a minority perspective i have no idea but uh yeah i i i guess i i always international is a whole other fucking thing i guess you got to deal with i don't yeah. know 
No, you know how we are as toy collectors. No matter how they they offer it to us, we're gonna have a better way, or we're gonna yeah be upset about the way they did it because it could have been done this way. And right. then the other half is gonna feel the other way. So it's like it, yeah. at this point, it's almost a lose lose. You the know, unfo- or the unfortunate part about like making toys and being in the toy industry, it's almost I don't want to say thankless, but it's almost like you can't please everyone even though you want to, like, that's the goal. The goal is to please everybody, but it's a losing battle. You're never, it's like the war on drugs. Like, yeah, we're putting up a valiant effort, you know, dare to keep your kids off drugs, but you're losing. You're not winning that battle. So it's like, I want to do what, you know, something that, that is, is good for everyone that everyone likes, but listen, man, there are just some people out there just not happy about anything, you know, or, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate, you know, it's, it's, it, again, it's a losing battle. You know, you try to get like 80% there, but you can't, you know, it's, it's tough. Now, so someone did bring up a really interesting point that I totally forgot about back in the, in the eighties, the when you mailed away your, your flag points for GI Joe stuff, they had the price with the flag points. And then they had the price if you didn't mail on the flag points. Mm. So they gave both options there. Now, I know, like, oh, they gave sure. both options, like, right from the start. And I know, like, there are some people like, well, if you said it right from the start, I wouldn't have had to cut up my boxes. <laughs> well, yeah, but we didn't. This was the idea then. We didn't think about it then. But, you know, you. this is the. Has anyone else done a mail away? There was no book. If there was a book, why didn't you send it to me? So I, I mean, knew how to do it. But I guess I, I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I'm leaving it up to everyone else to decide. Here's the thing. This is your first time doing it. You've never done a mail away before. And yeah, so the logistics you're of kind it, you of know what you're dealing with. You're kind of learning as you go, right? And there's no way to see it from every angle mm-hmm. in the future. You know, it's like hindsight's 2020 20 at this point, yep. right? Yeah. So just you know, I someone someone in the chat said go with your gut. I think that's the way to do it. Um by the way, if, we are gonna win that fucking war on drugs. <laughs> Only a matter with, of time, baby. Not with you, <laughs> not not with you living here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> once I'm out, once I'm out of America, then uh, then we got a shot. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, Bushman, it was was a big. He was very vocal about having had her on. Um, after 367 days, my vision becomes a reality. Have a great show, guys. Thank you, Bushman. Let me tell you something about Bushman. Bushman is one of the loyal. Okay, the yeah. fucking the loyal stormtroopers of the fucking uh, <laughs> had her on, and I and I don't just say that because. I pay him to I, that didn't make sense, but yes, yeah, he pays I love you. that guy. Yeah, he pays. Yeah, exactly. I forget, guys. Sorry. Toy Stalker, thanks for becoming a member. Impossible Pie, thank you for the super chat. When is Flipper Frank going to hack the stream? <laughs> Flipper Frank is uh, busy counting up all his SDCC loot to get uh, to get out of. Speaking of Flipper Frank, I don't know why I fucking bought this. I I, I saw it at Comic Con. It was an impulse buy. Fucking Kazakhstan really? or whatever the fuck his name is. I, I'm not even a Star Wars fan, but he looked cool. But now I'm having regret. Uh, so I don't know if this becomes like a fucking giveaway or something. But like, I, he looked cool in the case, and I I've, I have not bought a Star Wars figure shit man in like three fucking years but i just went in on this guy because he, he, he kind of looked like a beast but wasn't that I, 40 uh, bucks huh wasn't that 40 dollars? this was 40 bucks and um <laughs> when i opened it i immediately i'm not gonna lie immediately regretted my purchase so uh i yeah. think speaking of flipper frank Maybe that go. Maybe Ryan, you could help me out. Kind of try to make some money off my shit. You know, like maybe you know some. Maybe you know some people. Okay. I mean, I might know a guy. <laughs> I might know a fucking guy. I might know a guy. Boom. Like like the, the way you do it. <laughs> uh, and, <laughs> Joey Cannoli, thanks for becoming a member. Robert hey, Diaz. Joey Cannoli, he's hey. from my fucking block. <laughs> Lives right next to Johnny two times, eh? Johnny two times. Get the papers, get the papers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Robert right. Diaz, now, thank now you, we're sir. Going, we're, we're, going off, off, uh, we're going off the rails here. That's okay. Dude, dude, you got a lot of these fucking YouTube members coming up. What the fuck, man? Well, I just announced it. Like, t- this is the first show. The next show, there will be, you know, one, probably. Uh, thank you, Robert Diaz. Um, let's see here. We got a oh, uh, super chat from Bushman. Thank you. Doubt I'll make it to the end. Stay awesome, guys. Thank you, Bushman. Bushman, if you fucking bail, 
we're gonna fucking talk, dude. You better, you better stick around. You better. Uh, Wraith Mace, thank you, sir. Uh, hopefully, you see Condor goes through for sale on the site. It will be my first Valiverse figure, and I will pick up one of the weapon bins with him as well. So it looks like he's in the UK, maybe. Hmm? Well, if I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna pick up a you know a Crimson Shadow tin, I might as well that that made the decision for me. Look at that easy sale oh, right there. There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Hayden. Thank you, Hayden. Should other toy lines have an archive collection? What's it? What's an archive collection? I'm, I'm stupid. Well, you know, well, like the Black, the Black Series, Series does the archive collection where they re-release old figures. Oh. Right. And like, well, Marvel Legends does that a lot, but they just slightly update it and then they'll release it again. Right. Okay. Um, I guess yeah, it depends I mean, how Bobby well they're doing it. Bobby did the SDS, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of the same thing. It definitely works. I mean, it. I mean, it worked for me because the line was new, and you know we're gaining some some new customers. And you know, like FOMO's real, and the people, you know, the I used to get this this comment a lot from people. Well, I missed out on series one, so I'm not going to collect any of it. Okay, that's a valid reason. That's a that's a <laughs> that's great, you know? um, how many of these like, how many of these Marvel Legends collectors have been doing it for twenty years? Right? Me? Four, listen, four yeah, I know you you were all the time. Ryan. It's impossible to get early four horsemen stuff, and those four oh, they get new man. new customers all the time. So what are those people doing? That yeah, what? four horsemen stuff is expensive. Bro. Also, yeah. are you a also are you a fucking toy collector if you don't know the pain? Of getting in late on a line and and just having to go track down like those old figures, we all have to take it in the ass at some point. You fall in <laughs> love with a line and like, dude, I almost I got this the the fucking redo on the Bone Collector. I was waiting. It, 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 he he came out. Sometimes they come out. Sometimes they don't come out. Uh, I got lucky with the neck of turtles because I was in on ground floor, so I just fucking rode rode that way. But I got fucked on Mafex. I like all of those. Uh, I'm pointing as if you can see uh, the fucking Mafex uh, X Men. Yeah, line, and I got nice. fucked on that Wolverine, which I paid markup, and then it came out like a motherfucker. And I got <laughs> fucked on uh, Gambit as well. So, dude, it's part of this is part of the game. It's not like you jump in and then the the seas part, and then you just get the shit you get. You got to just go back and get the stuff. It always happens. What are you gonna do? Sometimes yeah. you get lucky. That's the thing, like that. I, I think I said it before that that James Franco meme when he's in the news and he's saying, "Oh, first time." Like, yeah. <laughs> when I get some some comments from people and complaints, they're like, "I missed out on this." Well, it's like, how long have you been a toy collector? How long have you been an adult toy collector? Like, this yeah. is the game. Like, yeah. Find hey, Tony, me a, find me no. a line out there that is incredibly easy to collect and there's no problem getting exclusives, no problem getting the regular versions, no problem getting any. T tell me a line. Cause if, if there is, I want to know it. There well, is it no toy line. If there is. Huh? It probably sucks. If there is like, if right? you could go in years after the fact and get shit, I mean, that's probably a line that I don't know. Power of the force too. <laughs> yep. Dick Tracy. Yeah. Listen, it, besides yeah. the line, Dick Tracy, you can get all the Dick Tracy figures and, and stuff for un, under a hundred bucks it's like robin hood prince of thieves sure but it's like they kind of suck you know but mm -hmm. um i mean i love both of those lines i have every one of them but <laughs> but yeah tell me tell me an adult collectible line right now that is easily accessible to get every single item that has come out i'll wait there isn't one yeah exactly well, there was that hasbro line that lasted less than a year based on a video game I think those are still on clearance somewhere. Was that Overwatch? But I feel like a lot oh, of Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Wait, the Overwatch? Uh, what the Figmas? No, no the, the Hasbro. Hasbro ones. Oh, the Hasbro ones. Yeah. But I feel like most companies. I brought up the Bone Collector thing as an example because you're here, Bobby. But like, I feel like most companies, if the character's popular enough, they'll reissue or they'll come out with like yep. they'll take like you know um like they reissued gambit i paid a stupid markup for it like a fucking mm. i was gonna say like an idiot it didn't make me an idiot i was just like i don't know when it's coming out again but like you know th they'll reissue it sometimes but in no way are you like entitled yep. to the reissuing of 
whatever fucking figure. If you get in late, you get in, get in late. I've done it many times. You pay the piper, pay the hatter, whatever yeah. somebody said in the chat. Uh, you, you're paying somebody to, to fucking... Uh, the price of your lateness has to... It has to uh, be baked into the process. That's all there is, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Brian Dillingham, thank you, sir. He says, I, one reveal I'm still anxious for is the Swarm leader. Keep waiting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brian. Andrew we'll Sabina, see. Bobby's jumping onto the stream midway. I guess that means he's packed up and ready for tomorrow. Uh, almost. I'm like 90% there. Um, All right. I still have to, you know, wrap up, you know, a model, you know, kind of like that model. Ooh. Ooh that looks nice I added that. Me. I added that to Ooh. it because when you fire the ballistic missiles, you know, it shoots cool. the flames out the back. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, it's going to. Very cool. That looks cool, man. Wow. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Oh, Wait, so, so is this is this desert tan confirmed? Yes. Cool. But again, can't please everybody. Oh, it's tan. I'm not gonna buy it. I <laughs> wanted it to be black. Sorry, I didn't consult you before I made this thing. Well, Sorry. you should have consulted me because I wanted him black. Hey, Bobby, this real is, quick, can it be black? Not maybe? Be a black one. I know. <laughs> what's that? What's that, Hatter? No, I was just gonna ask Bobby. Can it be black? Maybe. <laughs> thankless man it's a thankless job uh why do it anymore but People we are only 42 minutes into the show can, can you do it can you do it for 14.99 with 800 yeah. action points right yeah <laughs> yeah i'm getting my hand ready to cut action points right now boys have you have you actually had anyone who's just sent you 10 boxes because they couldn't be bothered to cut them out <laughs> <laughs> you could flat pack um, them you know <laughs> you know i haven't gotten that yet i mean i've gotten some interesting stuff the stuff some people do some people listen the, some of the people that are complaining like i had to cut these points out listen man there's some people i got a bunch of laminated ones in there i got some people that cut them all out taped them to an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and then laminated wow. them like damn the kind of the stuff people send in it's it's interesting so you know yeah um we, we got a few super chats here but i want to save them because we're 43 minutes into the show now and we haven't got to our main topic <laughs> yeah i showed up late i fucked up the show i'm sorry guys you did again did. that's okay uh I'm, but I'm thank sorry. you guys i i do i do want to thank some of our uh new channel members that are rolling in jeff w thank you jeff appreciate you man uh michael frazier Thank you so much for becoming a member. Uh, Wilhelm, Wilhelm, Toy and Hobby from AF3 and the uh, Endless Playlist, uh, Infinite Playlist, sorry. Uh, thank you, Wilhelm. Appreciate you. Um, and is there more? That is all the members for now. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'm going to be getting to those Super Chats. But did you guys... So I, I already said NECA won San Diego Comic-Con. And... Wow, this is a big reason why right here. Um, the Ninja Turtle stuff was insane. Like, if you're all in on every Ninja Turtle line, you better be a millionaire or a hatter who sells drugs on the side. True. That is true. Uh, and my body. <laughs> and your body. Um, now, I, okay, so I've read Last Ronin, and I actually got some of these sin, Singe, Singe, <laughs> Singe soldiers. Am I saying that right? The Sinja Patrol Bots. Sinja Patrol Bots. Yeah, man. Um, I only got two. I I couldn't get four like you did. Dude, I I am I got them right here. I'm fucking loving these guys. They're uh I wasn't as impressed with them when I saw them behind the glass, like in hand, because they upped there you go. They they I feel like they upped their articulation game with mm -hmm. those with those uh little bots and um they're nice, man. They're real, oh. real nice. And I guess somebody told me, I forgot uh, that this, I, I guess they looked small in comparison to the Ronin, but then some people told me that he is uh, not told. I did read the miniseries, but my fucking brain has been destroyed and my memory sucks. <laughs> but people did remind me that he is bigger. He's beefier in the, in the comic. So the size uh, makes sense. And uh, yeah, I dig so him, man. 
that was part of the story. It was like the turtles over time as they got older, they kept mutating and they getting kept bigger. Mutating. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. They got more jacked. Um, yeah. They're nice, man. The black and white ones are going to be nice, too. Now, what's with the black? I don't remember black and white ones from the... Is it just a way to reuse the mold? I... I, I Well, I'm guessing primarily, yeah. But um, yeah. um, but they do have... Like, the faces are different. Uh, I mean, look, it's a reuse. And yeah. they're not technically black and white. Uh, I forgot that they have red... I, at first, I was like, oh, these are for the black and white line. But... Uh, I don't know. They'll look good. I'll probably get, you know, four of them because I'm fucking sick that way. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know when I when I picked up the last Ronin, like, what was it? Late last year when he came out, I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, I just get the last Ronin and be good. They probably won't go deep into the line. Yeah. <laughs> that could won't do. Oh my god. And now here we are. <laughs> and I I saw this this the death of of uh, Raphael here, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I know. This is look you they, stick the arrows they, in him. Look how they massacred my boy right there. Yeah, I, I mean this book is like it, it's pretty graphic. There's a lot of blood in it. Uh, main characters dying, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh oh, spoiler! Well, Fucking spoiled it, Ryan. It's called the Last Ronin. <laughs> it's Ryan. been out for years. No, but I got the last. It. What was it? Issue five was the last one. I got that I at least a year four. ago. I think it's four, no? Four, four? four? Is it four? Yeah, I think so. The trade paperback's been out for a while now, the collected edition. That's true. If you if you haven't read it by now, then what the fuck, dude? Like, what, what are we gonna <laughs> what are we gonna fucking do for you? You know? Yeah. Um, Michelangelo is coming to the line. Donatello, which these were all in flashback. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. if you love the book. You don't have to get these, but man, they look cool to me. I, I mean, you know what? I think you're right, man. I think I'm gonna fucking pass on these actually. Now that I'm no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you, just, you just became an action figure influencer. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing they're doing these turtles twice over because I don't have a picture, but in one of these uh, in one of these street scenes in the window was the spirit versions. Because the yes, the fucking spirit versions are behind. I missed them the first time, and then a bunch of people lit me up in the chat, like, "Dude, you missed the fucking spirit things." Uh, and and there's also some other shit that I missed. But yeah, that's definitely on deck. That splinter looks pretty fucking beautiful. It's really cool. Um, I, I love the. Uh, I guess you can call it cell shading, but the line work they put in it to make it yeah. look like it's straight from the comic page. That's really cool. You got Casey Jones. <laughs> God, and you know they're going to do his daughter. They're going to do, do the old daughter. Maple. Yeah, dude, they they bought that. They bought that license. They're going to milk this fucking thing dry. You're going to mm -hmm. get. Remember, in the comic, they had those black and white flashbacks. So you're going to get black and white versions of these guys. You're going to get. It's 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 and and you can kind of justify it too because they were that way in the comic. It's almost like that comic it was a perfect setup to make merchandise money. It's wild. Yeah. Yep, and they're doing the uh, the foot the foot soldiers or the foot clan, the robot foot clan. Yeah, dudes. Um, it's like how many army boulders am I going to get in this line? You got the <laughs> Sinja patrol bots. You're getting you're getting the foot soldiers. It's ridiculous, um, but I love it. I got I gotta say, I freaking love it. They're getting dead. Uh, what's this robot's name? Fug Fugitoid, or he's Fug like a Fugitoid type robot or something. Somebody. Yeah. That was another one I missed, and somebody trashed me for it. Yeah, I don't know who exactly this. I think it's Fugitoid. He's like the Fugitoid type robot. But yeah, you get that guy at some point. I thought this was so fucking cool. The zombie, like they're they're just coming out to get the to, to get mm -hmm. him or grab him. And what's cool is is this is obviously they customize one of their own street scenes, right? But yeah, this... although I think that the the dude from NECA said that this somebody told me. I heard it from a guy who heard it from a guy that this might uh, this might actually be a play set that they fucking release. Maybe it wouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's no. it's it's not it's not wildly difficult if you already have the uh, the other one as a street scene. You know, I mean, it, it, it's a couple new windows which pop in and out of the of the street sure. scene, so they're it's modular and it's a repaint. So it's okay. It'd be super. Okay. I, I bet we'll get it eventually. You know, maybe I a year so. or so, two years down the road. That's kind of how they do it sometimes. They'll tease something, 
And then two years later, there it is. It's three hundred dollars. You find yourself, Ryan. This this is like like watching you and Jeremy talk about GI Joe. You don't know the names of any of these figures. <laughs> this is the Foot Clan. <laughs> I've said I've said every name. I know. What Sinja the fuck Patrol. Is <laughs> nah, but I have to fucking correct you, dude. You you did kind of fuck that one up. Which one? Yeah. The Sinja? The, the the Sinja Patrol one. You kind of stumbled well, a look, bit. It's and not like it's, to... far, it's not like you hear that said out loud. Oh, got it. it, okay. and it and I'm borderline illiterate. All right. By the way, I, I like how I'm flexing like I knew what they were before <laughs> yesterday. I had no fucking clue until I read the box. I'm like, oh, I guess this is Sinja Patrol. So I'm a fucking, I'm a poser too. Well, now what I don't know is the Mirage line because this is comics I haven't read. However, I did buy the four turtles and yeah. four foot soldiers and Shredder and Splinter. And this is another line that's uh, <laughs> so effectively they have they have cartoon line, yep, Mirage, mm -hmm. Last Ronin, mm -hmm. Movie Turtles. Mm -hmm. What the fuck else do they have? Archie. I mean, what happened? The Archie comic line. The Archie, yeah, that's right. The Archie con. I mean, technically, video the, game. The video game line is not technically dead. I mean, they said they're kind of letting it cool off. Yeah, but that's like fucking six. Like anything you can imagine now, like will come out. Like if you if if it had any relevance, you got original Baxter Stockman up there. Like anything that like people were asking for, it's like a thing now. Yeah, they're sneaking it in. Um, this Mirage line they're going deep with. I, I thought I would be happy with the Turtles, Shredder, and a few Foot Soldiers, but then I had to get Splinter and Krang. It's brutal, man. That yeah. Splinter's fucking dope too. So it's uh... <laughs> is. I didn't need the goat demon guy. Yeah, this guy's this dude's kind of like a fucking doofus, but like, you know, I got him. I don't know if you feel like I feel where like when you do like the channel, at some point you're like committed to like to like people are going to be like, hey, what do you think of fucking Tom Savini or whatever they call that dude? And like, so I bought him just because. But like, I mean, he kind of looks like a fucking dork. I mean, let's admit it. Like it's 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 so I but I I, I grabbed him anyway and and I don't know maybe he'll look better in person. So I mean, you yeah, take the horns away, and that's pretty much Tony. Oh wow! <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, you should give him some fucking super chats for that, man. I don't know. I don't know how you guys are splitting it, but I, I'd like to know at the end of this video because I think it should be a nice even distribution. That's all I'm saying. This is how we evenly distribute it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm on top. <laughs> uh, uh, another repaint of this lady. I don't know her name. I've seen her at Target a million times in red. Yeah, Renette. I actually did know her before. Yeah, these are a lot of. This is a lot of inside baseball, man. It's so yeah. weird how this line started. It started with like like a thousand years ago. They released Mirage Turtles, and for. <laughs> whatever how long was it a du like 12 years nobody touched the mirage line it was like mm -hmm. nothing all you saw was turtles and then all of a sudden that cartoon line spawned all of this shit and now you get like characters that like i don't know i mean you get you're getting every fucking major character like baxter stockman before he's a fly yeah pre-fly baxter yeah. stockman there you go with he comes with a mouser and a nice computer rat king yeah, I missed this guy the first time, and I got trashed for it. Well, they kind of—I mean, look—you're at the neck of uh, what's it—a booth or a area, dude. First know. of all, when you're at that booth, people understand there's no less than three thousand people right behind you. So you got to <laughs> fucking film that thing and GTFO like real fast. So like you're gonna miss all of these little things, and then it's you know I always get comments like, "Dude, you missed the fucking Rat King." Unsubscribe. <laughs> that was me sorry no i know I, I, can you fuck it can can you come back to my channel please no but bobby are you are you buying into this line he's buying into the movies just the movie line yeah which uh, here so here I'll, I'll i'll talk about the movies after i'll let ryan go through i don't want to take his thunder away this, we're on movies now man no i know but i didn't want to like ruin it for you i wanted you no. to like walk us through us you're the host and shit no, you you can help him with all the names, Bobby, if you go first. Sure. sure, <laughs> sure okay, the, there's Dare. four. There's four Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing the they're doing the Shedder Shedder. They're doing the Shedder Throne. 
which listen, I said to, I was talking with Alex uh, about this and I was just like, listen, Kino is the last one I need. Like after that, the only one they need to make that would get me still excited is, um, uh, Mr. Satu. I think that's his name. Yeah. That, but uh, supposedly Tatsu. they can't, Tatsu. they can't locate that actor or something like Tatsu. That's right. They can't locate the actor. So I was like, okay, I just need one more and then I'm good. And then I saw this and I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> I guess I'm in this game a little longer. Now, do um, you really need Professor Jordan Perry? I'm, Ryan, they're making him. I got to get him. Okay. Because I feel like I could skip on him, but he's probably in a two pack with this uh, Raphael. Probably. You know, probably. I mean, Ooh, that would gotta... be a good idea to move him because you're not going to you're not going to move an old man if you don't include in a hard hat. So, so that <laughs> in a hard hat. So that might be this is a nice yeah. setup in general with the fucking tires and everything. Oh, I'm like, yeah. right? I'm like, can you sell the tire back? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you can buy those. You can. Well, it'd be expensive. You can buy RC tires and make that whole wall. Mm. But <clears throat> they're doing the the Seeker of the Use Foot Soldier 2 pack. And I thought I was done with foot soldiers. These, I think those are slightly right. tweaked. They're doing yeah. two versions of Jordan Perry, Professor Amazing. Perry. Amazing. I hope they do it a two pack of him. I just want <laughs> it's a, just two, a pack two pack of, of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Kino, Kino, uh, training, key, foot training Kino with a newly sculpted foot soldier. He looks a little out of shape there. He does. He yeah, looks this, like this guy. So this is like, uh, this is it's all. This is almost like meme like. It's like the heavy set foot soldier that was in the background, dude. Mm-hmm. That's how inside baseball this fucking line has become. Is like people were like, oh, what about in these scenes? There's like a heavier foot soldier, and then Neck was like, yeah, sure, we'll make that guy. And so there you go. Sure. You can get well, listen. You can get big boy. If they if they go back, if they're gonna go that deep, give me Justin Hammer. With menthols and regular, like that—that's oh, what yeah. I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, what, what's, I, what's thought, I thought it was uh, Sam, Sam, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. I thought it was going to be Kino and then Vanilla Ice, and then it's done. But yeah, obviously, Nika has other plans. Yeah. Do you do you think they would do? I don't know how they would do this, but like, cause like, so like when you watch that first fucking movie, um. You got the foot soldiers, but you had a slew of kids, like a slew of smoking and drinking and drugging yep. kids. I'm wondering mm-hmm. if they ever think of like, we'll do like a pack of just like the Lost Boys and just like, you know, <laughs> a kid with cigar or a kid with, you know, whatever. If you really wanted to, you know, establish because most of those guys before they became, dude, I'm thinking of like the shredder scene where he walks out and it's like all these fucking kids looking at him like you could you could do that. I mean, or they could do Vanilla Ice's backup dancers the vanilla ice i wonder if there's like a vanilla ice rights thing like i feel like i feel like somebody told me that i feel like he needs the money anyway so no that no he's wealthy he he's actually done well wealthy with his money uh but i think somebody told me that he doesn't really own the vanilla ice rights like i think there's something with the rights where he doesn't like he can't just like give you his own rights. I I want to say hmm. I don't know how true that that is, but like you know, Shug Knight shook him over a balcony. He shook him over, but and he he stole his fucking right. Dude, that guy's a fucking whore for money. If he could do it, he'll do it. <laughs> so I doubt that it's him holding out. Or he wants too it. much money. Or maybe he wants too much. Yeah, you might be yeah. right. Um, they're also uh, doing more monsters. I think the only new ones in the display were, um. The Wolfman, right? That was a new one. Well, the Wolfman right and, and then the creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Leonardo. Yes, which is right there. Which, I, I mean, this is the easiest thing for me to pass on. I do not need these at all. <laughs> You're buying them in like doubles, like doubles for you? No, I'll, I'll get one of these just because uh, I, 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 I'll be honest. I, <laughs> I don't love that they are redoing, at least this early, like... Like, it, like they already did like all the turtles as monsters. I would rather mm-hmm. they do like Shredder's Dracula and, and start working on the outer perimeter, not as much go back to Raphael and make him now a wolf man. I, I, I don't love that. Obviously, I'll get it because I'm fucking sick, but like, I, it's, <laughs> it's, I, I just wish that they maybe handled that differently. 
Now, have we seen Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera before? Oh, Is yeah, that... I got him, dude. Okay. He's, oh, uh, he's, he's fucking, out. He's a beautiful figure. Okay. That's one I hadn't seen yet. The Usagi four-pack was cool. I like the Samurai one. The, what's this, a space one? I don't know. I've never yeah. read an Usagi book. But um, it's a four-pack. I feel like well, this is the same one that they single released. I mean, it's just about. It's a, so so just about, yeah. <laughs> the only difference is, uh, and other people might. It, it, it's so he's got like the spots, which I don't think he had before. Mm. Like, oh, sorry, the dots on his fucking gi. Maybe the face is a little different. I don't know. Maybe it's comic accurate. The 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 little uh, spot Dino guy is sitting down in that one, but. Right. I feel like this might be a four pack. I don't know. I'm it not is. sure, but I, it is. I I kept hearing four pack from everyone. Okay, I Maybe. wasn't there, obviously. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said uh, Baron von B said dots added. Yeah, that that first one is basically like if you never got the first release of Usagi, here's him slightly modified. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only one I would want. Well, I'd want the the traditional looking one in the samurai outfit, and then. Um, I like this armored up samurai look too. That one's pretty cool. The yeah. other two I could live without, but I, I don't think I'm going to buy a four pack to get it because what NECA's are 35. So a four pack is going to be over a hundred bucks, 150. No, dude, I, I think they have firmly cemented themselves in the four pack costs $150 business. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think they're doing any more four packs that are, uh, that are under that. So yeah, I think you're right. Um, and then uh, diving deeper into the Archie line with the Mondo Gecko. Uh, so there he is again, not, not my, uh, not my thing. No, not, Never. not your bag, man. Not my bag, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How was that accent, Tony, that he just imitated from you? <laughs> Tony's going to, he's going to quit the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna... <laughs> just shaking his head. <laughs> Whenever I imitate his accent, you know, he has to bust my balls, but I guess since you're a guest, you get off free. I know, but you just fucking imitated me like three times and made me look like hey. a fool. So, like, <laughs> I'm gonna look back. I guarantee, I never do. Sh I never did shooting guns once. But... Well, you kind of, you know. Hey, listen. <laughs> that's just that's just the nervous twitch you get after cutting out so many action points. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, exactly. I got <laughs> some weird carpal tunnel. It looks like the, the, these look to be all Archie comic uh, versions of the turtles. I know nothing about them. Naked but here they are. Leonardo? Okay. You don't want you don't want symbiote uh, costume <laughs> Raphael. Well, now that you said symbiote, uh, absolutely I want him. Dude, I'm gonna paint the uh, fucking venom thing right on his uh, chest. Not okay. Uh, <laughs> Raphael. That's Leo. Donatello. That's not. Uh, excuse me. That's Donatello. Uh -huh, in uh -huh. red. <laughs> Donatello. Yeah, in red? I don't know, dude. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's his wrestling costume. I, I don't, I don't get it either. Look at his, look at his facial expression. Go back one. <laughs> it looks like someone just stuck a finger up his ass. <laughs> well, that's how Maybe the guy I... the guy beats him in the ring. He, uh, <laughs> that's, the, that's his move. <laughs> uh, so that's not Leo because he's blue. That's Leo. Okay. And then what? Belly bomb. Everyone was super excited about this. I mean, it's it just looks... like you, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, wow. damn. All right, that's yeah, that's the kind of show it's gonna be. Gonna get that's the kind of show on. it's gonna be. I right. I don't think it looks like you. Thank you, thank you, Hatter. <laughs> You're so sweet. Uh, <laughs> but that Krang, um, dude, yeah, this I mean, gigantic Belly... Krang. Go ahead. Yeah, this Krang. Uh, this was, uh, I would say, if there was like a best in show, or not best in show. If there was like a top five, that that giant Krang is definitely up there. He's a behemoth he he reaches the top of the fucking playset and uh he's bigger than the one four scale turtle so if you want to put him with the one four scale turtles he'll fit and then if you want to put him with the little guys and have him just be a giant he'll fit too but yeah this guy's gonna now, fucking be wild so i thought it was a quarter scale crane but apparently crane got big in the cartoon he became a giant yeah um season one episode five Ryan, okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even as a kid, I knew that cartoon sucked. What? How yeah. dare you? Um, yeah, but yeah, this guy, uh, yeah, giant. Even if you play, I mean, you play the video game, you know, he gets so yeah. fucking big and he's got the laser beam, so uh, you can recreate that. This one surprised me, man. I didn't think they would 
this was like a they went for it moment. I was mm -hmm. like, I didn't think they'd do it, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 loving that one. So we're thinking what a hundred bucks, like the quarter scale. Quarter scale is a hundred bucks, or they used Dude, to. Be. I I think I think this will, I think they'll charge like one thirty, no less than one thirty. Yeah. I just feel like they they have that like big dick energy now, where they're like, you know what, <laughs> fuck you, we're gonna charge one thirty. You're gonna buy it for one thirty. I think one hundred for this. After seeing it up close, ugh, I don't want to say a steal, but one hundred would be wonderful for this thing. I don't mm -hmm. think it's gonna cost a hundred. I think they're gonna fucking bump up the price. So the quarter scale turtles are more than a hundred now. They were a hundred. I mean, they're a hundred with some change, but they're also smaller than this. Right. And I don't know. Like, I feel like this is like almost like a prestige item, for lack of a better word. So I there's I, a lot less reuse because with the quarter scale, you can reuse the same yeah, body. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So yeah, there'll be a markup. It's very cool. I just not for me. Uh, there's Krang in his gut. Now, thankfully, I haven't thrown out my uh, Sinja box because i like that side artwork there if you collect yeah, them really all nice. i threw out my last my you know my last ronin what from last year i threw out that box but that looks pretty cool um so all that's coming i know so you're, you're not getting another your, your necker boxes <laughs> i might what's wrong with that tony <laughs> you have no life <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you think, nah, you're yeah, fucking. No, yeah, I know. You're a fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> Big time. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I didn't order a NECA a turtle van. I'm not that nerdy. How many? You didn't order. You didn't order this turtle van. No, because I'm not doing the cartoon line. Oh, you don't do. You don't go in on the cartoon line at all. No. Nope, so nope, wait, you just... I used to. I used to, but I sold them off because I just wasn't that into the cartoon as a kid. So. So you're just into the last Ronin and, and the movies. movie line. And which one? Yeah, movie and Last Ronin and uh, Mirage now because they and look the so Mirage, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll save a lot of money not getting into this fucking cartoon line because it's brutal. Oh, yeah. Well, I sold. You know, like when that uh, Haslab Sentinel went up a few years ago, I sold the cartoon turtles that I had, and it was enough for at least a Sentinel because I okay. got I bought five Sentinels because I'm like you, I'm sick. Average. Holy shit. Yeah, um, but I, I think I think of all the turtle vans I've seen, besides that third party one, um, this one looks the best. This one looks good. I'll tell you what the what the the front of it is a little flat. Okay. Um, it's almost like, and maybe because I got spoiled by like that third party, not quote unquote turtle van. Right. It's it's got like an it, it it functions like a van. It's like nice and rounded at the front. This one, when you see it up close, I don't know. It's almost like the passenger is right up to the fucking front of the van. That's the only thing. If I had to really be like a like an asshole about it and like fucking you know uh, uh, pick at it, but it's beautiful and and they're gonna kill it with this van. And I think they're opening up pre orders again. So yeah. Uh, uh, that's spinning bow staff too, by the way. That's a whole new thing too. They're, they're releasing these. Uh, they're doing like single single turtles, and they're yep. all going to come with new accessories. So that's ultimate cool too. Yeah, I mean, J ultimate. Jay's fig. So my loose one, what? My sentinel. I'm not selling that. Uh, he wants you. He wants you to hit the streets and sell your loose one. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh. It would be loose if I did that. <laughs> Uh, did the super, did the super you've been selling your member all night. Hold what's on, that, you guys. What's that, Tony? Did the did the Super Seven Turtle Van come out? No, not no. yet. So the Super Seven Turtle Van was at Comic Con. It's like on year three now. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, it, it's um, it's I guess it's done. Like it's it, it, it like it wasn't painted, but like the plastic or whatever is fucking done. But uh, okay. no, it's not come out yet. I'm curious to see what's going to look like. The 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 way they paint that thing is going to determine if it's going to be cool or if it's going to fucking suck. So how many has NECA put out a bunch of turtle vans since like Super Seven? Well, NECA hasn't put out their van yet. Oh, they haven't at all. I thought yeah, no, been, like they didn't their, their van, like the the only van that has come out so far was a third party van. Underground Arsenal was the company, okay. and they they it, that's the only van that's come out now. NECA van has not come out. Although I think it's on deck at the end of this year. And then the Super 7 van 
Uh, who knows? I mean, that thing has been <laughs> it's the the Super Seven waiting game. Uh, it, it it's it's just taken its sweet time. So it, that'll probably be the last fucking van that comes out. Uh, Chalor, I I bought five. I sold two. I sold one to Jay Hernandez and one to someone else. I don't remember. Um, and then Jay's Figs. No, I'm not going to buy the last Ronin just for the bucks. <laughs> Unless it's cheap. And I feel like scrapbooking. Uh, more cartoon stuff is coming, uh, including this Casey Jones and Space Usagi, which I, I guess he went to space in the cartoon. What, ep- what season and episode was that? Um, that was season. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I honestly, I'm not as big as of a nerd as you think I am. I, I, I think past season three, it starts to get. I mean, I, I smoked a lot when I was in a teenager, so a lot has been lost. Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't. Somebody will know in the chat, but the thing that's a bigger issue is that fucking uh, that layer. Dude, NECA's, they're like fucking, it's like spam at this point, man. Like that fucking layer is coming out next month too. That's going to be a $250 layer. And right. uh, they're coming out with like three different versions. Like that's the living room. They're going to come out with a fucking, um, uh, uh, the, the laboratory. Mm-hmm. And then there's also going to be like a kitchen. And you know, there's going to be people that buy like three of those living rooms and they make it into like, here's the... You know, here's a fighting room and here's a meditation room and all that shit. So uh, that's another one that's going to, you know, another reason to not get into the cartoon line because of the fucking. Although that 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 sewer playset could work, I think, with even if you had Mirage or any of those ones. Well, that, did they design it so the street scene could stack on top? It'll fit. Yes, they did. Those that's motherfuckers. Nuts. They did. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> those that's so cool. That, yes, 100 percent. They did. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to need at least two then. I hope they do it. Now, I know it's not accurate to the movie, but I hope they do it in like a repainted, like realistic style for movie figures. Because I only got the street scenes from, you know, the realistic looking ones. Dude, people have been asking that for a long time, like a movie realistic uh, turtle layer with mm-hmm. like the gnarly couch and all the textures in there. And like, right. um, it, it, that would be really fucking, I, I bet they well, make it at some point. I mean, they did the, it was a generic building, but they made it for the turtles line. Yes. So it's like, yeah. why not just make the, that. So it goes on top of this, of the layer, you know? Yeah. 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 Or get, listen, what they should have done was they should have made April's, uh, uh, you know, antique shop. This way you can throw a raft through the skylight, you know? <laughs> and then set that shit on fire, you know? Yeah, they, I hope they're not listening to this because <laughs> they'll do it. <laughs> they'll do, do it. it. Now, do they it. also sneak a bunch of stuff in these dials, all these little Easter eggs. I'm sure these are all accessories that come with different figures, but apparently there's a lot of Easter eggs in there. I'm not the guy to ask about them because I don't know. But we got that one guy got his fucking badge in the reflection. Did you see that? Oh wait, did he? Th- this is all yeah. from Toy Arc. Look at that fucking to- Ale- oh, yeah. Alex Wiener, Alex Wiener up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's his we, name we caught you alex Mr. wiener from toy arc i think <laughs> that's where i stole all these <laughs> <laughs> uh, all kinds of cool cool stuff they stick in there I, it th- this will either come i'm sure like the sewer layer comes with a couch and the table and all that yeah no no this, this is all this is i asked the one of the dudes this is all fucking included so this is this is like all the living room set with all its accoutrements are gonna just uh, show up in this uh, in this thing right here. Very cool, very cool. Um, a quarter scale Mikey, right? That's coming. That's, I thought that's... they did them all already, but is no, really... that's a long time coming. I don't know what the fuck is a hold up. Maybe I don't know. Lack of orange paint in China. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> but like, this is uh, supposed to be coming out soon. Yeah. Well, I like that Playmates re-released the uh, the original twelve inch ones. That was nice. Yeah, those are nice. Those are. I, I can't find them anywhere, but they're real nice. Oh yeah, I'll I'm gonna go to Target tomorrow. I'll, I'll see if they're there. I'll, I'll I'll let you know. Oh, thanks, bud. And then I just picked up uh, the the raft. Or you know how they did the four turtles kind of in movie styling, but they're playmates and they all have the trench coat on. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I grabbed all four of them and I'm walking around <laughs> the store and I'm like, I'm trying to buy less. <laughs> just buy one. Like, Raph was the only one that wore a trench coat. Just buy Raph. And I'm like, 
but Leonardo's my favorite, so maybe I'll get two. And I'm like, right. no, 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 just get one. And I ended up just getting one. I talked myself into just getting one. Oh, the re- yeah. hashtag restraint right there. I know, right? <laughs> well, you know what happened is I, I didn't want to send in my action points. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Chell, or we're going to get to G.I. Joe here in a second. Um, right after... You know, I, I I agree. I feel like this is killing you, Tony. Like, I feel like this is... It, <laughs> He is not I, a turtles I, guy at all. <laughs> I feel I've been glancing. I've been glancing down, and I feel like he's like, if there's one more fucking Ninja Turtle that I got to look at. <laughs> look, so I I was I was kind of into the cartoon, but it was it came right. out in Australia when I the year I turned thirteen. Oh. So I was kind of I remember seeing the Playmates figures in the store, and it was like I like them, but I'm at an age where I'm not playing with toys anymore. Right. But right. this is nowhere near as the same level of torture as if you'd been talking about Transformers for half an hour, because I just would have fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> Hatter, what what do they call these turtles in their jackets? Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for asking, Ryan. Uh, those are the punk, <laughs> the, uh, punk uh, turtles. Uh, I don't know. They just call them the punk turtles. Like I, I don't. Right. Um, by the way, I feel I feel like I've been guessing every year that these were going to be. You know, I said, what's the what's the thing? A broken clock, right? Like every year, I'm like, Punk Turtles announced this year, and so finally, uh, yeah, finally they they did it. But yeah, I think Punk Turtles or Punk Outfit Turtles or whatever. Well, that's me with Vanilla Ice every year for like the past four years. This you just been year guessing getting, Vanilla Ice. This the yes, the year we're getting Vanilla Ice from Secret yeah. of the U's. I it think next year happened. it's gonna ha- it's gonna happen, dude. Next yeah, year, next year for the sure. Year of fucking ice. Yeah, let <laughs> let me call Randy. I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so punk turtles are coming. Now there was an Easter egg in here that even I recognized. These come with wild accessories, by the way, like the bag of groceries, the boom box. Sure. Sure. You know, um, that's a little Easter egg there. I don't know what that down with mutants call now. So they're probably making this guy with the eye patch. No, they got him. Dirk Savage. I have, he's already I'm, out. I'm, I'm looking at him right. Well, he's somewhere, but yeah, they okay. got that right. yeah. <laughs> okay. That one's out. Um, there's a chef's hat in the background. Yeah, the chef's hat. I think the chef's hat comes with the uh, ultimate uh, uh, turtles. There's a chef's hat. There's also I don't know if it's in your thing of pictures, but um, it's a really nice accessory. It's like uh, one of the turtles with like a pizza dough that fell like over his fucking face, and you can see like his eyes. Um, so that's another accessory that I saw with the chef's hat. I didn't. I didn't see that, but I thought the chef's hat was to that pizza guy. That uh... oh, a uh, pizza face or whatever. Pizza face. Like, I, I only I know the character because Punk or Mike made this killer custom of him one time years ago. But I was thinking maybe they're going to do him. I don't know if they have the rights because I think he's like a Playmates thing. And okay. that's like a Super 7. Like, super. Like I don't think. Maybe somebody knows or could correct me. I, I don't thought maybe he was a character that showed up. I don't know. Uh, Who knows? I don't think so. I could be wrong. I'm, I usually am. All right. Well, that's enough friggin' turtles. Have you guys heard of this new company <laughs> called Syndicate Collectibles? No. Okay, so this pr- fucking <laughs> this fucking company. Okay, so this this is a dude. Jerry Macaluso is the fucking yes. guy. He, he started Sota, Sota. Toys. Mm-hmm. Which were you in on that, Ryan? Like the Street Fighter back in I the was- day. With- so yeah, I'd see him at Suncoast and uh, Sam Goody all the time, but I never bought one back then. Dude, I I was I was in school when Sota came out, but I went even with my dumb school money, I went in all in on that line because they were the coolest street fighters at the time. They were like, you know, nobody would so that's the guy that started that company and he also made statues. I used to have a few of his street fighter statues like they, back mm-hmm. when statues were cheap where you could get I mean cheap you get them for like two hundred dollars. You can get a Chun Li statue for two hundred bucks. Oh my god, you wow. can't do that anymore. But yeah, this guy fucking came out of nowhere with this new company, and it's he's making awesome shit. He's gonna be one. I don't want to sound like I'm marking for this guy, but I think he's really gonna be a dude that's gonna make an impact. Tony, you can you, yeah. you into some some blood sport figures? Yeah. So this is. Um... What's the character's name? Frank Dukes? Something? Yeah. 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 Jean Claude Van Damme, Bolo Jung. Uh, so are these 112 scale? They yes. are uh, seven inch scale, like NECA figures. Ah. Uh, a little bit bigger, but come on. You going to pass on them because they don't fit with your Action Force or Classified? 
Oh, I, 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 I like Bloodsport, but not enough to have a couple of shirtless dudes on my shelf. <laughs> but you got a shelf filled with He-Man, so that's normal. <laughs> Dude, look at, look at, like, they even got how Bolo Young has, like, that, like, very specific chest anatomy. Uh, yeah. They got that they going. They the nipples. <laughs> Dude, uh, whoa. Zoom, zoom in this a little is... more, right? Wow, we're getting demonetized. I know you're, you're getting demonetized for sure, dude. You think I'm so? Sorry. Hey, we need more super chats so to make up for the demonetization. <laughs> um, dude, he's got the fucking uh, thing on his calf. The the remember he he fucking beats up his uh, Revenge of the Nerds buddy, and he he he, yes. he ties the the thing because he's like, "Fuck you! I killed your friend, or I beat up your friend." Um, <laughs> I mean, and and what's funny is like Diamond, Diamond made a Frank Dukes. But it sucks ass. I was like, this, it's this is a shit figure. So when it I is. saw these, I was like, I'm, I'm all in on these. Now I will say they're not even close to the likeness of Jean Claude. Like that's, I don't know who that is. It, it honestly, I again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound like I'm fucking defending. It looks better in person. Um, okay. He did say that without me asking him that. Uh, um, I, this is not final product, and I think this might come with some alternate heads. So maybe, um, you know, maybe that's a thing. For me, I, I'd actually be fine living with this if that was all that happened. So hey, I'm in on these. I mean, I'm, that's just an observation. I'm in for these. Um, it looks probably better than the Diamond Select. That that one wasn't great. No, that uh, one is is fucking garbage, dude. This guy looks spot on. Yeah, as far as his likeness goes, I guess from yeah. that angle it looks a little more like Van Dam, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe, like this yeah. is like one of these optical illusion figures that, like from angles, like it doesn't look, you know, it, it, it's it it looks better in person. Yeah, this stuff is th th what is this like seven inches, seven and a half inches? It's yeah. a little bigger, right? Yep. Yeah, it's like Neca Neca scale. Um, he's also doing now what. Someone was telling me what this movie is. I don't know. Goblins? Ghoulies. Ghoulies. So this is, this is Ghoulies. My wife is like fucking obsessed with this movie because she's like all into horror and shit. Uh, but this it's oh. like, uh, it, this is like, this is like Gremlins without like, like a great story. And like, <laughs> it, 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 it's the like a B movie. What happened? It's like Gremlins without the cute factor. Yeah. Without the cute factor. Yeah. There's no gizmo. Uh, it's, it's uh you know this that dude Jerry he's very much like an inside baseball horror guy so it makes sense that he makes these pumpkin head killer clowns well, from outer space he he likes that kind of shit he started in the movie industry doing special effects and yeah, movie makeup yeah, that's right. and stuff like that so that's right that's before he started uh soda toys and pop culture shot collectibles pop culture and, very controversial company by the way <laughs> it's uh and plastic fantasy Oh, that was the, the yeah, the Jenna Jameson the fucking stars. figures, but yes, that's right. Yep, that's right. That was all wild... Jerry uh, Macaluso. Jerry, my Ma he's an interesting guy. True, ro he's doing true romance figures. Yeah, yeah, which <laughs> look look pretty freaking cool. Um, lacking articulation. Uh, it looks to have about the same amount as like a Super Seven, but. Yeah. I think it's fine, that's a, honestly. That's like this model. looks I'm just wondering, like, I saw these and I'm like, is like when Quentin does movies, does he sign his talent like the way Lucasfilm does? So Lucasfilm, they own your likeness. So they don't have right. to get Harrison Ford's approval on a Han Solo figure. Whereas Marvel, the talent owns their likeness. So we used to have to get Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson and Chris Hemsworth. We have to get individual approvals every time we did a, a figure so i look at this and i'm like this is why like doing a movie is hard because you got to deal with a bunch of different actors gary yeah. oldman you got christopher walken you got james gandolfini so now you got to go through his his uh estate you know you got uh christian uh, slater and whoever that i imagine people. christian slater isn't that expensive probably not probably gary not. oldman and maybe walking here and they got walking down pretty well also, uh, I don't think Tarantino owns this. I think, uh, yeah, Tarantino yeah. wrote wrote the script. Yeah, he, he wrote it. This is a Tony, Tony Scott. Scott uh, yeah, it's a Tony Scott movie. So, 
you know. So this is um, this doesn't count towards one of Tarantino's ten movies. He's I mean, doing. he he wrote it, but like you know, yeah. it's not he didn't direct it. Uh, yeah, that I mean, they look cool, and then uh, Double Dragon. I don't. I mean, I know that's probably just me that's into that, but dude, I'm fucking excited about that. I, okay. I've been I've been I've been banging the fucking Double Dragon drum for a while because it's like, like there are certain figures that fit with like. If you were like a kid in the 90s that liked to play beat 'em up games and like you like Ninja Turtles, Double Dragon, Final Fight, mm-hmm. uh, uh, fucking that Punisher Capcom game, like all of that oh, fits yeah. under that like one rubric of like, n- like, like every game was Double Dragon back then. You would, you, you're yeah. on the street and you just beat the shit out of people. And so I was like, somebody's got to fucking make this. So uh, I'm happy this is coming out. I, I hope that this line ga- gains some steam. I'll at least get those two guys. And uh, yeah, double dragon figures, man. Dude, that first <laughs> double dragon NES game was like that was it for dude. me. I didn't have an NES, but it, when I went to my cousin's house, it was like NES all dude. Put on yeah, double man. dragon. I had dude. double dragon on the tiger handheld. I had that Whoa. too. Dude, dude I remember tiger one. handheld. Right. <laughs> uh, I so they're doing a five POA line because I feel like every company has to have a five POA line now. But which is fine, but the what's the deal with Golden Girls? Like I get it's a classic show, but is are people screaming for Golden Girl figures? I just well, find it odd. Don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend you're not getting these figures. That's number. I'm one. not getting them. No, I don't. <laughs> I, mean, I would okay. tell you if I was. <laughs> uh, you know what's so funny? So my buddy at uh, Toy Stalker, he says because he sells like Funkos, like with other shit. He says that he can't keep Golden Girl shit in stock. Wow. So. There's some there's some faction out there that's just buying Golden Girl shit. I don't. I I also do. I'm with you. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't get it. But you know, it's it's got some weird dude. Neca did the fucking seven inch. Uh, remember that the, the Golden Girl. So I, it is what it is. I don't know. It's weird. What when, when I saw those Golden Girls at my Target for the first time, I'm like, well, these are going to sit here forever. Those things disappeared. <laughs> yeah, they disappear. They yeah. fucking. It's weird, man. Yeah. Well, uh, my, you know, I'm going to give some some inside baseball. I'm going to announce a new line here. I got a new IP, and I'm doing a five POA line of Full House figures. Oh, <laughs> get ready! Get ready. Yeah. Can you have Can you have it be like a two pack? I know there's only one Michelle story wise, but can you have like the Mary Kate Ashley Olsen as an exclusive two pack? And can I send in action points to get it? Bonus question. Wow, that's it. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, can can I mean, Stephanie? Tanner, can Stephanie Tanner come with a bag of meth? Well, <laughs> see, that's the only reason I'm doing the line. I figured oh. I wanted to do because she was my first crush ever mm. was Stephanie Tanner. So I figured, go. well, I couldn't just license her. They were like, you got to license everyone. You got to do Joey. You got to do Jesse. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. I was like, can I do like pedophile Bob Saget? Can I do oh like these pedophile Bob Saget? We are totally like, demonetized now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Oh Sorry. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. It's a, I'm sure we were demonetized after the first 20 F words out of Hatter's mouth. So <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you had the you had to sign it. It said uh nope. warning language or whatever. I thought it was cool. It happens. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the ad revenue is like maybe 20 bucks, maybe. Dude, I don't I care. Think, dude, I got the bucks. perfect and, and and if it's a full house line, may it, it can it come in like a long box that like simulates like the brownstone, like the San Francisco yeah. shit brownstone, and then you have them all there so you can display them in the thing. I'd fucking be a customer. I love it on that. See, so see you know what you're doing. You, you <laughs> can be, listen, you can you should just quit your day job, become a you know, know. a toy company. Everyone else is doing it. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> uh, doing statues of Ash from Army of Darkness. Pumpkin head figure statues, one six and one twelve scale uh, figures, and a gigantic statue. Yeah, these are. Somebody was uh, upset with me because I just kind of glossed over. I was like, dude, I'm not into pumpkin. I don't like. I don't. It's cool, sure. I I just I don't. It's not my bag. So yeah. Right. Same here. Wait a minute. What the hell? Tony. <laughs> Whoa. Did they that, do a full listen, scan now- of Tony? Now we're demonetized. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so, so are these new channel memberships for OnlyFans? Or? Just, I was wondering how they got your likeness. <laughs> I, think my, I think my fucking monitor just cracked. 
<laughs> so yeah, pumpkin head stuff. I never saw it. Uh, killer clowns from outer space. Uh, Dude, like freaked. Out. I showed my wife this. She was freaked out. She's like, that gave me nightmares as a kid. My wife is obsessed with this movie, and he has all of this weird shit th- there. And we have a newborn. I mean, not new; she's ten months old. But I'm like, I will not put, it, 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 I will not put any of this stuff in my house. Uh, if you see in the back, so he's got that that clown thing, but he has these like, you see those little pods all the way in the back. Those yeah. are like those are like people's heads sticking out of the pods. They're creepy as shit. I don't know the who the audience is, but. Whatever, man. I know he loves his property, so what? I mean, good on him. Hopefully, okay. it sells. All right, Jerry, do your thing. Dragon's Lair. Uh, okay, this one. I, this one I'm confused about. So I thought these were two statues. I guess it's not. I guess it's like I. I guess one of them, the one to the left, is a is a statue. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then the other one is an action figure. Okay. One twelve scale. That's a big. Uh, that's a big it's a boy, big boy right man. There. But, it, it, uh, it, by the way, it looks just like a fucking Don Bluth cartoon. Like it, like the mm-hmm. likeness is spot on on these things. But Dra- Dragon's Lair was a, an arcade game. Yes. Did they make it into a movie? No, no, no. I, no, I don't okay. think so. I think it's just an arcade. I, when I said cartoon, I meant just the cartoonish look. But uh, okay, I think it's just an arcade game. That and like Space Ace were like yeah. just arcade well, games. I think. Whatever. It's all better than Dragon Heart. How dare oh, you? Absolutely. How dare you? <laughs> Only idiots like Dragonheart. <laughs> um, Dragonheart is the shit, man. <laughs> uh, they're doing a statue of uh, Dirk the Daring. That's enough of that. Uh, G.I. Joe. But before we get into some G.I. Joe, because I know you guys have been waiting, um, I want to I want to get to some of these super chats because there's like a million of them. Uh, and I appreciate every single one. Robert Diaz, thank you. Pledge my money. Question for Bobby. When are we seeing the new belt design in Action Force? I'm terrified to pop my figures apart to swap belts. Uh, see, so uh, Series 5, all the belts will have uh, attachment points. So from then on, you know, Series 5 on, every belt will be able to come off without uh, having to take the legs off. I mean, they pop. I, I can pop mine apart without heat, but a little bit of heat, they, come, they pop yeah. easy. But I get it. Um, you know, it's like... Yeah, I always wanted the line to evolve into that. So, right. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, my buddy, Master Son, uh, thank you so much. I noticed that your viewership went down since Tony came back on the show. When you want your ratings back up, holla at me in all seriousness. Hey, guys. See, that that's just an Air Force officer who's just disgruntled because he never had the chops to go for special forces. Jeez. Move along. <laughs> one, of the, one of these shows. Good Lord. I don't know if you saw, but Master Son joined me uh, on Tuesday. I did a little stream on Tuesday. He hopped on with me. He was good. Yep. So that stream was going really well, and he hopped on, so I went and did something else. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Master Son. Uh, classic Donut, thank you. 55 for Covert Condor is uh, fine. 15 plus 40, $4 per point. Thank you, Bobby, for keeping these Joes on their toes, and thanks, Laser Pants, for the hang. You're welcome. I don't know. I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Classic Donut. Not Top Goon, the Vegemite man himself. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I really feel for Bobby sometimes. No homo. <laughs> He's a one-man operation with a revolutionary approach to a toy line. Everything he makes opens a door for more ideas, and the fan base is hungry. He's human. We need to remember that. Thank you, Not Top Goon. One should tell other people about that because <laughs> you know that 10 percent out there thank you Goon. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't know for a fact you're human that's I true mean, they did verify there's alien craft on earth now it could be a scroll. i mean ai ai is ai is getting real good you know what i mean yes. like bobby could be like bobby could be like a constructed persona you know that 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 no, no one has ever awesome. really met you know, are we just gonna pretend awesome. that a, a, a a freaking painted vanguard isn't just sitting there what this? Oh, I, I we know, can keep man. pretending it's. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> oh my lord! That thing is so big. Well, How this is big? the this is the hundred and ten percent model, so gotcha. it's ten percent smaller than this, right? right. With the oh. fucking winch, gorgeous. That's I'm having a, a hard time that's, deciding that's if I go winch. like. That's a working winch. A working winch. I know. I've, I've Sorry, been, you <laughs> see the I've been following this. You want to see the turret? Yes. Hold on. We'll put the turret on. 
Okay. okay. We'll put the turret on. <laughs> Why ain't it black? Oh Here we go. Why oh my god. Very uh, cool. M two forty for just for Tony. Thank you, Bobby. I like colors the for me. Weapon for me. Carbonize it, Bobby. Me, aren't you? Carbonize it. <laughs> Uh, it's gorgeous. I love the uh, muzzle flash. That's how you do muzzle flashes. That's how you do them. I'm having a hard time deciding if I go turret or like rockets. Like, well, the rockets. That's why you, that's why separate... you buy two. You have yeah. Well, no, no, no. So the rockets are a, are a separate add-on. It comes with the turret, with the machine gun turret, and then you can buy the rockets like a gear pack. I know, but I'm gonna get the rockets anyway, and so, but maybe I just. Oh, so you... Get two. You're trying to figure out how you want to display it. Yeah, the maybe rockets I... are pretty freaking cool. I gotta admit yeah. that the rockets. <laughs> are cool. How long until someone has toy photography of a vanguard towing a vamp out of a ditch? <laughs> <laughs> that won't take long. That's awesome. Um, Hayden, thank you, sir. He says I can relate. Started the Black Series in 2020 and Marvel Legends in 2021. Yeah, so he has 20 years of Marvel Legends to catch up on. Uh, but luckily a lot of the early ones are actually pretty inexpensive now. If you wanted to be a completionist. Thank you, Hayden, Jeff W. Thank you so much, Bobby. Uh, you can request points or cash. I just want more action force. I'm at 160 action force figures so far. Holy crap. Whoa. Wow. Now let's see the You're Vanguard the missile pod you're holding. Thank you. Well, we just showed it. Yeah, so we just showed it. So. Yeah. Thank you're you, welcome. Jeff. This guy afford the $5. For the super chat, we've got Listen, fucking... holy Jeff shit. is a baller. Okay, I hung out with that guy at at uh, Valicon slash Joe Fest. Uh, he's just throwing cash and like scooping up figures from tables. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Fair play to him. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Uh, just Jeff. Thank you, sir. A lot of Jeffs. He says, "Well, once again, I'd like to thank Tony for upgrading me to action figure collecting from Lego." Thanks. Thanks a lot. Blimey, this snake size. Oh. Blimey, this snake eyes? Not sure. Well, blimey, that's something British, right? Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? Cool, blimey, mate. <laughs> what language is that? Blimey is like, uh, it's like an exclamation, right? Okay. I'm like just a... busting Tony's balls. <laughs> so while we're speaking about accents, had a, I've got to ask, I, like I'm no expert on American accents. I, I, I can definitely tell when someone's from Boston, like all of Bobby's in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> you live in LA, but yeah. you sound like you're from like Brooklyn or something. Yeah. I, uh, so I, I was, I'm my family's from the Middle East. I was they're all Arabic. I was born in Israel and then I came to Florida when I was like six years old. And uh, um, all my teachers in Florida, we didn't speak the language. I, you know, like immigrant family, like super fucking immigrant. Uh, but uh, all my teachers were from New York because in Florida, all the snowbirds in the 80s and 90s, they left New York and they fucking, you know, they, they, uh, they they took up residence in uh in Florida, especially where I was living. So my chasing teachers were cocaine. Like, say again, chasing cocaine, chasing co dude. It was like the fucking Scarface dream. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah, yeah. Wanted, <laughs> everybody wanted a piece of that. People getting dismembered in bathrooms. It was a whole <laughs> thing. So like uh yeah, they were all from Brooklyn and and uh, uh, Queens and all that. So um there's a lot of freaks like me that just we we never stepped foot in New York, but we just talked like this because. We were just surrounded with people that talk like this. So that's uh, and then L I didn't come to L.A. since I was I went to school out here for animation. So, I mean, I was already in my 20s when I came out here. So this was already mm -hmm. this was already me unfiltered. So, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Hey, Tony, can you yeah. fake an American accent? No. Ooh, I like come on. You got to try. Yeah, come on. No. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't I don't do accent. I I can I can turn on an Australian accent. I can sound I can sound British when I want to. That that's all I can do. <laughs> it's funny. There's a lot of like actors 
like like British Australian actors that fucking perfect American accents yep. to the yeah. point where you can't tell. But it, I don't see it the other way that much. So when I see an American do like an Australian accent and he's trying to roll the Nau and you know do all that fucking shit, like it always <laughs> it always sucks. And same thing with British, like it's very. Every now and then you get like Robert Downey Jr. who does like I guess an okay Sherlock Holmes, but like you can always, it doesn't work the other way. I don't see a lot of good American actors that can do well, Aussie accents or. There's or um, the, the the only one I can really think of is John Johnny Depp does a really good British accent, but it's like a British accent from the 17th century. He doesn't. <laughs> he can't do a modern day one. You know, Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. No, that. but. Um... An American actor that can do a really good British accent is uh, Kevin Costner. I don't know if you've ever seen Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, but yeah, it's oh like, yeah, no, that was a great, great. So how good. dare you, Ryan? How dare you? By the way, that movie is fucking amazing. I don't it care is, what anybody it is. says. Of the, course, it's what amazing. Happened? That movie is definitely amazing. It should have won an it's Oscar. It's an amazing fucking movie. Well, I saw it when I was a kid. It floored me. And then I, I know, yeah, the accent thing sucks, but like, dude, that movie is a fucking thrill. I bought all the toys too. I was like obsessed with that film. I, you know, it's, it's so I, I, while I agree that there's no British accent, Kevin Costner is my Robin Hood. Now, <laughs> let me ask you this. What accent was uh, Morgan Freeman doing in that movie? Well, he was from Jerusalem. He was a, uh, he was like a Moor. Who knows? I mean, yeah, obviously it's all bullshit accents, but yeah. like he was, uh, he was, uh, he was, uh, uh, people like to focus on Costner, but I don't think Morgan Freeman was doing any kind of, he was just doing like your standard. Every Arabic is somebody who whose whole family is Arabic. Every fucking actor that does an Arabic accent does the same like fucking. It's like Russians. Like every every actor that does a Russian accent does the same like hello. I'm doing a Russian accent. They all do that. They so do that. it's and they do it with the fucking finger. Right. Um, so it's it's uh, um, you're right. Like none, the only buddy who the only guy who was like legit in that movie is Alan Rickman. He was the only one who was like. I, I, I'm 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 really the sheriff of Nottingham. Everybody yeah. else is just playing their parts, you know. But yeah, it's he still can, a fucking amazing movie. He can really do a fake British accent. Uh, Alan Rickman guy, he's good at yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, he should do more movies. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Jeez. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> Garrison yeah. Calvary, thanks for becoming a channel member. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Jim Smith, thank you for the super chat. So forty-five dollar condors at Chris Con tomorrow, Bobby. Uh, no, you have to bring your points to Chris Con. There we go. Uh, we have Northern... not officially said if we're doing the second option condo or not. I think no. he was joking, Bobby. Okay. He was. He's just, I just got to put that out there because because there's going to be people that, you know, are half listening to this and like, he said it. He says he's doing it. I'm mad. <laughs> I said it my points. Just floating the idea out there, thinking floating about the it, idea. picking a poll. Uh, Northern Nomad, thank you for the super chat. He says, oh my God, so much figure talking. Emotional damage. There we go. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Nomad. Appreciate you. Head Cannon, uh, thank you for the super chat. I sent in a request from the Florida Republic to transfer Condor with mine. Okay. What is the Florida Republic? I, well, in, in Action Force, there's no states. They're republics. Right. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Headcanon. Alex, thank you for becoming a channel member. Ted Darkclaw, thank you for becoming a channel member. Uh, Tony Robles, thank you, sir. Wait a minute. Four awesome fellows on one stream. That's right. That's right, Tony. And lots of fucking turtles. <laughs> We're done with the turtles now. Uh, thank you, Nelson, for becoming a channel member. And for the super chat here, I uh, hope you're all okay. Just swinging by to say hi. Thank you, Nelson. I'm doing well. You guys okay too? I'm I okay. I think uh, now that you've moved past turtles, <laughs> I think I, I loved I love the uncomfortableness of this. Like, if they show one more turtle, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. Like, like I, I I could I could feel it. I could I could I, I it was palpable in the air. I love it. <laughs> I think I I probably missed something too, which is crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude. The best action turtles line. Let's look at no. I'm no, gonna... we're not doing, <laughs> no. Let's do another hour of turtles. Boy. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, thank you, Jeremy. Tony is tired of turtle chat. Let's discuss. Dragon. Shouldn't Park. he be polishing a bell on a coast guard vessel? <laughs> yes. 
Uh, thanks, Jeremy. Sam, thank you, Sam. Next time I expect a Flipper Frank appearance. I mean, we're not the same guy, so, you know. Can you call him? I can call him up, but I, mean, right. I don't Yeah, he's probably control. He's a fucking grown man, dude. All right. <laughs> thank you, Sam. <laughs> Sam is a grown puppet, so I don't know if you knew that. I like the Sam Newsman. All right. Uh, Tony, again, Tony, thank you. He says, playground extraction specialist Bob Saget with white van. <laughs> oh, jeez. That that'll be that'll be JC's favorite figure of the year. Oh my god! <laughs> Solid burn. What the hell you say? Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be that, that kind of show. Uh, what? Jeremy, thank you. Ryan's mom is a working wench. <laughs> See, he posted that when Bobby was talking about the working winch on the, you know. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, that's not but, a random. Yeah, this, this, I mean, this Coast Guard level humor is just. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, Lori, thank you. Just wanted to say hello, guys. Hello, Elizabeth. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Nostalgia Knot, thanks for becoming a member. Nelson, thank you for the super chat. Bobby, make the covert condor with something a tad different. I would buy it again. Maybe another color shirt or a shoulder holster. $44.99 is fair for us all. It doesn't really work like that. I had someone else suggest that. They're like, oh, well, if you're going to do it for, you know, a, a different price, do a, a, a whole different version. I have the stock here. Like, it's a figure that's produced that's here. So we can't really yeah. change anything on it. We got we got what we got. That's it. There we go. Can't you open up every single one and just yeah. paint the rim of the sunglasses? You know what? That's I'm going to open up each one and I'll hand paint the rim of the sunglasses. All right. To, there you go. Con confirmed. Yeah. I think that's a yeah. good idea, actually. What you yeah, do they'll is... They'll be available tomorrow at ChrisCon, everyone. Yeah. You open you open them up and you just set them out on a table. You take a black can of spray paint and just give them a quick dash of black spray Ooh. paint and call them the Castle Grayskull Edition Cobra Condor. Ooh. I like that. Perfect. I mean, I got a, a good can of gunmetal out there. I could just carbonize them. Mm. I like carbonized covert condor. I like I'd, 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 I'd cut C, out. Baby. Triple C. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nelson. Eric, Alfred Abel, thanks for becoming a channel member. And Carlos uh, Rosado, thank you for becoming a channel member. Dude, you're just fucking flexing now, man. You, you've got like a I, thousand I, a thousand channel members in the, in the last fucking two hours. Holy no, shit. 19. We got 19 channel members. That... <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, mean, I, was, I, was, I, I was pretty close with my with my guests. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Look, who cares? There's a UFC fight on the TV. Yeah, and I'm watching just... it. It's all good. I'm good here. <laughs> yeah, did, you, did you see that, that guillotine? That dude's got yeah. 12, 12 submission wins in 15 fights. That's crazy. Jeez. Cool. I wish I knew uh, what that meant. Last one. <laughs> last one for... I, I felt that way when you were going through the turtle stuff. <laughs> I wish I could be a badass and be like, yeah, the guillotine. I, I don't I don't know shit. I'm a fucking turtle. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, guillotine, well, guillotine's when the guy bends over and you get behind him and you know. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Now we're on now it's not monetized. More Bob Saget talk. Uh, what, did, so, what did Bob Saget talk? I don't know. Well, I his humor. Whole, I, 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 have, I missed the whole Bob Saget is a creep moment. <laughs> no, that was his stand-up. Yeah. Oh, that was his. Hey, you know what? His stand-up was very uh, what, uh, blue, Colorful. I guess. Colorful. Yeah. And, Colorful. Yeah, that is true. It was very demonetizable. Yeah. It is. Yes, that is uh, true. Renato. Right, thank you, Rich Renato. Hey, Hermanos, uh, on vacation with the family, so catching the replay, but wanted to drop some love. Bobby, thank you for signing that awesome eclipse. No problem, man. Thank you, Renchinato. Have a good time on your vacation. Uh, we are all caught up on those Super Chats. Did you see what the classified team dropped upon us at San Diego Comic-Con? Now, these no. were all just like uh, what they call them, digital render reveals. These weren't there physically, right? Uh, if it's what you're about to show, no. there it is. It took a minute. I don't know what's going on. Actually, the three pack was there, and it looked yes. pretty fucking sweet. But uh, getting some uh, now, Tony, you you like immediately made a video on this on, on just the uh, the dreadnoughts that they're that they're doing. You, you know, 
So some, something I didn't mention in that video is is now, you know, having spent the last couple of years doing this show with you guys, every time I see these render reveals, right? So so look at look at Hawk in the corner there. Mm -hmm. Bob, Bobby Bobby's like ruined my collecting because look at the length of his arms. <laughs> I wasn't gonna <laughs> say it. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> it's the first thing I look at now. The first thing. I'm like, how long are his arms? <laughs> I mean, that, that's almost every Marvel legend. <laughs> yeah. So, and I yeah. didn't notice it either until Bobby pointed it out. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that looks like an orangutan. I would love to yeah. pretend that I noticed it, but I didn't. I, I yeah. <laughs> but now, now I can't stop noticing it, um, unfortunately. What, what, one of, one of my all time favorite Marvel Legends figures is the Punisher that came with the bike. <clears throat> And now I have to have him on the bike, like holding the handlebars, because if he stands up straight, his arms are <laughs> way too long. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks a lot, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> um, but a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, uh, let me just get to it. Like I, they're, they're putting out the vamp. And it's they kind of hinted it's going to be an exclusive, maybe. I, were you in the panel, Hatter? No, I couldn't get in. I, I got out of I, – I think I got there too late. They closed it off. So, uh, no, I was I did not see these live. But then they streamed it, so I just caught, I just right. caught it pretty much after the fact. Yeah, but it's uh, – I guess it's, it's it's not a HasLab at least, but it is a exclusive very – Exclusive to what? I'm, I'm thinking maybe Pulse. They didn't maybe... say – did, did I hear it wrong? Didn't they say this is going to be like – Big box, like this is going to come out, like, or is this just going to be online? I thought they said something about exclusive. The chat will correct me. I didn't watch well, the panel. I'm just going off rumors. It's course exclusive. They maximize their profits because they haven't got to yeah. sell it at wholesale prices. Oh. Hopefully, doing that might keep the price down a little bit. I don't know. Also, like, <clears throat> you know, like the the I remember the the Duke the Tiger Force Duke motorcycle was literally on clearance. This, the the week after it got to Target, so I don't know if Target wants any part of this big stuff. You know, I mean, it it depends whether their buyer realizes that the Tiger Force one looked shit because sure. the, the first sure. the first classic looking one, you know, I'm sure that eventually went on clearance, but it wasn't it immediately. Yeah. You know, it did. I walked in and got a couple of them for twenty bucks each. Yep, but this, um, yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't straight away, was it? No, no. This should sell really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. so th there's two vehicles that Hasbro has put out that I would think this would fall in line with price wise. One being the Fortnite boat, which was about 80 bucks, didn't come with the figure. The other one is the Hoth Snow Speeder from Black Series, 120 bucks, did come with the figure. So I, I was saying anywhere between 80 and 120, heavily rumored it's going to be 99, 99. Tony and I were, were talking about it the other night just because of like what like what Serpentor cost. Serpentor was 80 bucks. Granted, it was a, an exclusive and it had the packaging. But, you know, with the figures being 25 bucks now and, you know, the 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 motorcycle with the figure was 40. It's like, man, this thing's going to be up there. Now, that snow speeder, there wasn't much to it. And that was 120 at the time. And when did that come out? That came out, what, four or five years ago? I want to say 2019, 2018, 2019. Something like that, yeah. It was definitely oh. pre-pandemic, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was pre-pandemic. Yeah, because yeah. I, right. I, so, I so, bought one. Yeah, so like three or four years ago, they're talking about all these inflated costs and this and that. I just have a feeling, I, th I think this thing, while I, my first, when I first saw it, I was like, that thing's going to be 99 dollars It's going to be 100 bucks. But after seeing it, I'm kind of just like, I would not be surprised if it was like $124.99. Um, I think, I think so, too, because the fucking bubble is 55 bucks. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's, I saw it for the first time up close. It's small. So small, it's like, yeah. like yeah. I mean, it's it's great. It looks great. But if that's 55 bucks, I think you're right. I can't, I, I think yeah. this is going over 100 this is going into like maybe 120, 130, and also because they can. Yeah, exactly. And that's what me and Tony were saying. It's like people are gonna it doesn't matter what the price is. The price could be 
175 and people are going to buy it. Like the same amount yeah. of people are going to buy it at 175 as, as if they would have, if it was a hundred, because the Joe fans, they have, they're so starved for everything and everything coming out is coming out for the first time. It's not like legends yeah. of black series. Where we've gotten this shit a hundred times already. This is, this is all new, you know? And you can army build vamps as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I, I was saying to Bobby the other day, so I'm, I'm curious to see whether the front wheels are steerable or not, because the original vamp in 82 did not have steerable wheels. We didn't get that until the ore striker a year or two later. Um, you know, would that be a, a cost cutting thing they would do? You mean like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I mean, it's yet to be seen. Uh, I think it looks cool under hundred bucks, you know, if it comes in at that Fortnite boat price and I know it's a long shot of 80 cause it comes with a figure and they I, know, I, people, I think, they know people want it right for 80 bucks. I I'm think in it's for going to be at least 99, 99 or even yeah. higher. Yeah. 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 Like I said, I, I see a lot of rumors, 99, 99, which. All right. I could do it. Yeah. I could do one. Um, now I, I look. I, I don't know who these characters are. I I know Tony Agent and Bobby Helix. probably do. Hmm? Agent Helix. Helix. Yeah, she was a comic book character. She came out as a figure during Rise of Cobra for the first time, and that's what she looked like. And Rise of Cobra, that was like the line that you loved, right? No, Pursuit of Cobra. No, that was line. Pursuit of Cobra. <laughs> Rise of Cobra was the movie line in two, oh, 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> Um, okay, so there she is. Um, the uh, what's this called? The SMS, what's yeah, the this? sentry missile system, yeah, not bad. I, I... Wait, so, with, so with both the vamp and and the so, so this came as a Sears exclusive two pack with a his tank back, back in the 80s. Very, very hard to find a, a Cobra SMS today if you're a vintage collector. Uh, but this was a recolor of the, the GI Joe MMS. So they've done that. So the, the vamp was redone several times. It was done in Tiger Force. There was a vamp Mark II. They also did it in black with a rocket system on the back to make it a Cobra Stinger. So I, I can see, like, you know, this one here, you can have it towed by the His tank, and then they can come out with a green, a green one and have it towed by the vamp later down the line. So we, we a smart choice, both this and the vamp, being that there are a number of recolors they can they can do with these these items once they've got the tooling they just change the plastic that they're using and there you go is it going to be towable by the hiss can this hook up to the hiss i think so yeah if they didn't cool. they're stupid but yeah, yeah. They, that's like a no-brainer i would think yeah yeah the, the hiss has got a tow hook and, and as i said when this was only available in in this colorway in in, in one way back in the 80s and that was in a two-pack with with the hiss they've made this the same color to go with that hiss tank fire team to go with the his tank, they're they're building out, building out that whole collection. Cool. Uh, right, I'm surprised you didn't know that, Ryan. No, I'm not a big GI Joe guy. I know, but you, you kind of let me down, dude. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> I, I didn't even back the hiss. <laughs> you didn't back the hiss. Oh my god, it's fucking yeah. beautiful. Yeah, no, it looks. Hey, it looks yeah. great. It's just space, money, and you know. I'm not that. Uh, Tony, Tony's a, a fucking GI Joe historian. Holy shit! He is. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember any of this shit. He's dude. also an idiot. Wow. Hey, fucking. But Bobby knows his GI Joe probably better than I do. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> I, 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 I only know like, like a fucking poser next to you guys. <laughs> I, I only know a certain era of GI Joe. Like, but, but past 1988, my knowledge rapidly diminishes. But See, Bobby, you, Bobby's across the whole line. If you want to get real crazy. The, what's awesome is the vamp comes with a shovel. Now that shovel attaches to the hood. I'm pretty sure. Now, when the vamp first came out, the vamp did not have the shovel molded to the hood in the original mm -hmm. 82 offering. It wasn't until the Sears exclusive that towed the 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 how yep. that that vamp came with a shovel molded to the hood, and that's like a super rare vamp. That's a lot of money. Gotcha. Uh, Neil. I mean, I, 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 I did know that too, but I just. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. I just... <laughs> uh, Neil, my GI Joe shelf is one shelf. It's it, it is six feet long, but it's basically full. Wait, what? What was he talking about? What? What six feet long? Uh, space. my space. 
So oh, I, sorry. I, in order to keep my, myself under control, I have one shelf for GI Joe, and that's it. So, are you are you getting? So you didn't you didn't go in on the on the his tank? Are you getting the the dragonfly? I didn't get it. Okay. I, I didn't. I didn't get it either. But I will say, I had major fucking FOMO when I saw it up close. It, it's pretty fucking nice. It does. It. Hey, I. I said it on the show before. It looks awesome. Yeah. So I will um, have to admire that from afar. Yeah, getting the crimp, the Crimson Twins and Crimson Baroness. This is a PulseCon exclusive. They had it in the case there, like the physical. Yeah. Uh, it comes version. with like a. The case is real nice. It's like. It's like a suitcase with. You know, like a like a fucking facade of gold bricks and shit. Uh, it's yeah. nice. It's a nice little. It's not necessary, but it's. I don't know. I, I feel like it's a nice. I actually agree with what you were saying, Tony, about like the diluting of the crimson guard of yeah. like. You know, it used to be like crimson guard was like the elite, like the special yep. fucking thing, and now it's like crimson this and crimson alley viper, crimson ninja turtles. It's like everything is fucking crimson, and I feel like. I, this kind of felt more of the same. Uh, I, I will admit it was cool. Um, I don't know if it's like if I picked this up, uh, but yeah, there's like there's too much of it. There's a lot. It's like it, this used to be a special thing, and now it's just like all across crimson everything. I think Tony was feeling the same way. D didn't you mention that well, in no, your he video? Was, he was saying that in his. In yeah. his in, yeah. yeah, I was saying I agree. Yeah, um, I was half listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this is like right up tony's alley because you're a huge dreadnoughts fan so uh, take uh it away. I, I wouldn't say i'm a i wouldn't say i'm a huge dreadnoughts fan but i i don't i i, I had a soft spot for for the ripper figure when i when i was a kid i really liked ripper so not this is quite so much this guy this is buzzer yeah buzzer uh there's yeah there's a uh, ripper so in, in my video, I, I talked about the fact that he didn't have, or at least it's not shown here. That doesn't necessarily mean he's not coming with it, but the the power pack backpack to power the hydraulic jaws. And then I had 200 people in the comments trying to educate me on the fact that in the modern day, these, these jaws are now battery powered. I was like, okay, so if they're doing an updated version and it's now a battery powered set of jaws of life, why has he got World War II pineapple grenades hanging from his harness? <laughs> like, you either update it or don't update it. Like, don't do it half and half. <laughs> so he, it's indetermined if he's coming. They don't show the backpack here. It might be on his back in this digital render, but. Yeah, I mean, I mean some people have said he's probably coming with the backpack because he's got straps to carry a backpack. And I was like, we've had a lot of Joes in the past who've had some kind of a harness like that that haven't had a backpack, but. Lots of Joes do come with backpacks as well. Weirdly, yeah. Big Ben doesn't, and that's a big mistake, but wait for the video. All right. <laughs> uh, General Hawk here, right? Is that right, General Hawk? Yeah. Someone said Dan Larson. I don't think it looks like Dan Larson. I I mean... No, he's not jaundiced enough. <laughs> yeah, it's not, oh, he's not as stupid looking to look like Dan Larson. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure you come to Chris Con because he's going to be there. Not coming to say hi to me. <laughs> So again, I've, I've, I've had, toy, a, I've had a, a lot beef, of uh, toy beef with Dan Larson. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's a loser. Okay. <laughs> and well, I know. Right. I haven't. I haven't. That's that's not the first time I've said something bad about him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I had a lot of people in the comments talk about like, why has he got brown hair? Um, uh, Hawk is supposed to have blonde hair. I was like, no, Hawk had blonde hair in the 82 line when he was a colonel. When he became a general a few years later, he got some just for men. He dyed his hair. Didn't want to be blonde <laughs> anymore. That 87 figure had a pompadour or 86. I think 86. He had a, he had a, a nice full flowing head of brown hair. Yep. I think um, this head sculpt would be a really good Mr. Fantastic. That's what I think it looks like. Looks yeah, you great. think so, Mr. I Fantastic? So. Got, got a little gray on the sides there. Uh, yeah. We're getting more Python Patrol. Did they Python Patrol everything in the OG line, or is this? No, 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 not not everything. But this was one figure that did was Python Patrol. Yeah, Copperhead, right? Yeah. So, so originally Copperhead was only available packed in with the water moccasin vehicle. The only way to get him single carded was um, uh, as part of Python Patrol. 
God, this is this is hilarious. Dan Larson is the flipper Frank of vintage Kenner Boba Fitz. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> he has like he has like I don't know who Flipper Frank is. He has like five hundred of them. Flipper Frank is definitely not Matt Hatter's alter ego. No, I were I not just, related. No. related at all. Yeah. Tim Ward says uh, Ryan's laughing very uncomfortably. I think Ryan might be looking to collab with Secret Toy Galaxy. Uh, no, no I'm not that's when I that. quit the three PLA. Hundred percent. I'm just, I'm I'm just trying not to. I'm just trying not to start all these beefs. <laughs> You're not. Me and Bobby are. Yeah. All right. Cool. Who cares? And we got that established. But I mean, if it you know when the when the Anchorman style street fight happens, I got your back all day. So. <laughs> so why why do you got to fucking start beef with me then, Ryan? Uh, look, listen, <laughs> I got a trident. I'm coming. It just got awkwardly silent. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were moving the slide to something else. <laughs> did, did they, can, you, can you go back for a second? Did they put blood on the machete for Copperhead? Well, it looks like uh, it's not it's red. Actual like, grease. It's Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Not Top Goon. You got to get this one now. It's Vegemite. Uh, we got a Python Patrol guy. Cobra officer. Yeah. All right. Now this one I I got stoked for because I had Shockwave as a kid. Yeah, um, I like I looks, like this one too. Yeah, he how, looks great. How did you got How did you get Shockwave as a kid? Did you steal it from your cousin? <laughs> I don't think Shockwave was one that I stole from my cousin. Why do you always bring that up? It was like four figures. Yeah, okay? but I just I was like eight years old. Huh? What? Yeah, but I'm just making sure you learned your lesson. I did learn my lesson. Okay, I learned. I don't steal. Uh, but I would steal this shockwave if I if I saw it. Nice transition. Are you getting this, Bobby? Probably. I loved shockwave. My neighbor had shockwave. I was so jealous, and like he wouldn't let me like play with him. I was so mad. He was such a cool figure, though. Um, that so like for me, 89, 90, 91 to me are like the three best years of G.I. Joe, just because I was too young for everything else. Like 89, 90, 91, I was, you know, seven, eight years old. That was prime G.I. Joe time for me. So, you know, yeah, Shockwave was awesome. I wish, and, and I've said it, like, it's smart they're going nostalgia. But it's like they should really be going, like, how they handled Pursuit of Cobra. This is almost there. It's like they go, and then they go, like, 90% of the way. If they went all the way, you would have taken that stupid fucking camo off and did digital camo. Like, the dots, like, they used the same camo from the original figure. And same thing with Dusty. Dude, update that shit. Mm. It's okay to modernize the figure a little bit. If you keep the essence of what he looked like, the nostalgia version, look at the way they did Lifeline in Pursuit of Cobra. Or that at that point, it was 30th anniversary. Him and sci-fi were done absolutely friggin' perfect. They took those figures that looked goofy in the 80s, they modernized them, and they looked awesome. Take this guy, give him some digital camo, and he would be perfect. It's like, Lenny just sucks that much that he just can't get there all the way. He gets there a little bit, and he just can't get there all the way. Could have got there with this. But he's still awesome. I'll still get him. Did the original one come with the riot shield? No. He didn't come with a riot shield, I think, until the collector club figure, or probably during that shitty 2003 to 2006 like era that I don't believe existed. Uh, I think he <laughs> came with a riot shield then. Gotcha. The original, I mean, I sort of... the original came with a suppressed Uzi. He came with that a knife with a a notch in it, and he came with a backpack. And he came with a a, uh, a Beretta. That's all he came with. Action figure atorium. What environment does that camo work in? The aquarium? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to fucking raid an aquarium, dude. No, it's on I uh, I kind of feel, uh, feel that way, like what Bobby was saying about like that mind bender. I don't know, man. Like, I want to like it, but like, I feel like it's too close to what was. Like, I would have loved like an updated, like yeah. it's. Like it just feel he this looks like a fucking wrestler with the cod piece in it. Like you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I wish they would have given him 
given him like a fucking cool trench coat or done something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely a fine line because you don't want to you don't want to alienate people because there's people that really just love the original look of Sire. Sure. And I've sure. told this story before, but when I worked on that build a figure kingpin, I got pushed back from guys on my own team like. You're not doing them with the purple vest and the orange pants. And I said, fuck no. Or the, the orange vest and the purple pants. I said, no, he looks like an idiot. I was like, we're going to put him in a classy white suit, black shirt, alligator shoes, pinky ring. Like, we're going to make this guy like a badass. Like, you know, yeah, he might be a big fat guy, but he is awesome. Like, he is awesome. And he's in imposing. So it's like. They really got mad at me like that. I did it that way. And I had to like fight. I'm like, no, 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 you're not changing this. Like, this is the way he's, he is because he needs to be modernized. You know, I would always pursue to Cobra the shit out of my legends figures. <laughs> uh, Logan, it, Wood, thanks for becoming a channel mad, member. Yeah. What's that? I said, no, it, it could get people mad. People want the straight original version, like just the way it was. Sometimes that doesn't work, man. This guy is fucking cool, though. Yeah, Shockwave is yeah. cool. Yeah, uh, Thomas the one goes that had all the uh, cassettes come out of his chest. The cassettes? Nah, it was a it was a sound wave joke. Uh, you can move oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas goes nostalgic. Thank you. I don't know about Vamp, uh, bottom, middle, but no top. <clears throat> well, it didn't have a top. It's always been a convertible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except the the Mark II had a had a, a roof on it. That'll be the that'll be the next one. Uh, Nelson Defons Morales, thank you for the super chat. I'd rather save money for a second or third Vanguard. Awesome. I like your style. Yeah. A Vanguard is gonna fucking kill it. We're getting multiple colors there, so for sure. Um, articulated ninjas here. What's up, man? Whoa! Fucking so we got a star in the chat. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Hey, chat, how, how come you get how come you get the theme music and I get a wet fart when I fucking show up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, do you have? I mean, what's that? What, what's your intro music? What that's like? It, it's it's a, it's public domain. Johnny comes marching home. You, you can play that's it, right. and you don't even get you don't even get a fucking copyright strike. And then you you humiliated me right from the fucking jump. I'm just saying. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just funny you. every time. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja, for the super chat. I'm late to the party, but so happy to see the great Hatter in the building. Uh, who who are we assassinating tonight? Hatter, tell me what I missed. Tonight, well, Hatter. well, Ninja, let me let me give you a recap. Well, the Ninja no. Uh, <laughs> I, look, can we just recap Ninja Turtles just for Ninja? Sure. Just like yeah. go go through the whole thing. <laughs> you want to go back? I just want to see, want to see Tony like, Tony fall asleep completely, and then I'll fucking. Uh... I just want to. I just want to see him hitting that vape super hard in frustration. Just oh man, I could feel his like his like simmering rage as we were just going through it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, thank you, Ninja. All right, let's move on from Shockwave here. Mutt oh, Junkyard my God. showing up in the, this looks great, man. I love the mutt. This dog looks great, dude. I couldn't stop fucking really? thinking about this when I saw it. I was like, I was the vest. Every, everything about this, like, I'm not, I, I'll be honest, I'm not even a giant fan of this character, but they just fucking nailed it, dude. Yeah, see, they modernized Mutt or Junkyard perfect. Like, he looks perfect. Yeah. You took a dog and you made him look modern. It's great. Wait, so the, the human is Mutt and the dog is Junkyard? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> I'm not a G.I. Joe guy. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. The human name comes first, Mutt and Junkyard. Junk but the, the dog, dog is a mutt. But that's the that's the joke. Oh, that's the joke. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. <laughs> but I like the yeah. dog. What is it? Junkyard? Uh <laughs> you're thick as shit sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> All the time. I'm gonna get you that, Ryan. You're gonna get me what? I'm gonna get you this fucking figure. I'm gonna I, I right. want you to display. I'm gonna fucking sign it for you, even though I have no relevance to to this figure. But I want you to have this because it's so fucking beautiful. Um, this was it, it was so small, but it was like one of the best things I saw, like at that booth. I, I fucking loved it. 
Yeah, and it just kind of showed up in the case, didn't it? Did they talk about it? At the yeah, panel? it just showed up. I was there. So uh, the first day, you know, they do that shit where they sneak shit in the case. Um, it, first day, there was nothing there. And then all of a sudden, I see this giant crowd around oh, with the pictures. Oh, my God, what the fuck? And I, like, move through, and it's like this. It, they put out this, and then they put out those. I mean, you're probably going to show it, but the fucking soldiers with the jetpacks. Um, uh, oh, and this, the trip, this tripwire is fucking amazing, too, man. Yeah. So he comes with a rat, and um, <clears throat> I don't. Do you guys know why he comes with a rat? Because I do. Yeah, they sniff out landmines. That's right. Yeah, uh, Nikki Nicole, who uh, does uh, a lot of paint work for Savage Crucible, and she's a customizer. She's does amazing work, but she messaged me about this type of rat, and um, let me find what she said. So, Tony, why don't you say something about Tripwire? <laughs> well, you were you talking about this on your solo stream the other night, and you, you're saying he comes with two vests. I think that's a front and the back of the same vest. You're wrong. He he comes with two vests and two helmets. He does. That's, okay. that's does he really? yep. He said you're wrong. See how like definitive you you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm interested to see the, the the full EOD helmet on the left, whether that's actually a helmet or whether that's an interchangeable head. Um, don't know, but I think I think it's just a helmet. I wasn't there, of course. I didn't see it in person. But uh, yeah, you can clearly see there is two different vests, along with the uh, what's this a uh, a bomb diffuser bot? Right. Uh, there's the first vest, and there's the see second he's vest. he's going to be like a thirty five dollar deluxe figure then. See, yeah, well he is. He's thirty five. Yeah, you are correct. So there's the first vest, and then there's the second vest. You can see it has the pouches and that on the front. Now that um, movie, uh, he looks like he's from that movie, The Hurt Locker, or what is it called? The, the it's Tony's, Tony's favorite Tony's movie. Favorite. Now, now that uh, Tony, you 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 were saying that movie is very, uh, um, uh, very. It's it's done real well, right? Like that, like these, these bigger, like like this is a hundred percent accurate. You were saying, yes. right? What 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 they're wearing is accurate. But that movie is so inaccurate to the point of being <laughs> fucking irresponsible. It is an irresponsible depiction of the war in Iraq. It's a terrible, terrible film. There you go. I like that. I like that 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 precision of knowing because I, I don't fucking know when I so watch wait, it. I'm wait, <laughs> assuming. What happened, so, Ryan? I'm trying yeah. to defend you here, but. So see on the package, zoom in on the on the package, where they show all the accessories, they show one vest and one backpack. Dude, I'm telling you, this is the front of both vests. <clears throat> I I want to defend you. I'm just saying they, they're just showing one. Yeah, I guess Wait. well, I guess they didn't show it all on the package, but I mean they're showing it here. You got two helmets, you got two because they show both helmets, they show both collars. Right. They show the backpack, they show but the so they here's everything but the second vest. Here's the first. Here's one vest with the pouches, right? Yep. Here's the other one. Oh is yeah. It re is it reversible? Like, I don't think so. No. Uh, no, it's well, not reversible. No, it's it. I want to know why give him two vests. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure that out as well. I mm, you get two versions i don't know huh what with, with the helmets you know maybe people yeah maybe you could kind of like army build with like another yeah like, i get uh, you know what he's probably packaged with a vest because they don't show the shoulder armor or the thigh armor so they probably package him with the vest on and therefore he's part of the figure so they don't show it in the in the cross cell gotcha yep yeah that rat is big man he big looked, rat. That's, that rat's about the size of a ferret rats are smaller so well N nikki sent me um it, an, it was an instagram story so it's gone now because they expire but she sent me like an actual picture of that rat and they are big rats really yeah they're very large rats maybe they come out of like that shithole new york city the <laughs> rats are like enormous <laughs> we'll have to ask alex take that uh, alex <laughs> they also uh put the steel core troopers up for pre-order with the uh Ridiculous blast effects. But uh, yeah, here they are. I, I feel like we've talked about these, but you guys go, can take it go, away. go back one. Okay. 
So that blast effect coming out of his rifle, is that just showing that like they're really poor shots? <laughs> <laughs> He's just bringing bullets. <laughs> yeah. That, I, is, that is weird. <laughs> now, of the two helmets, so that it comes with the cla a more classic looking helmet and then a more <clears throat> Halo looking helmet. I actually prefer the updated Halo looking helmet. I, I like it too. I, yeah. I I didn't think I would, but I I, I dig it. Yeah. Um that must be a good UFC fight going on there. It's yeah, it's the start of the main card. <laughs> the main card started right. I told you we had two hours. It's fuck two hours, twenty minutes. All right, <laughs> let me wrap this up. Yeah, still core. You got uh, the the his tank guys in black and red <clears throat> instead of uh blue like the other ones. There they are. Gotta get to the UFC here. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> See all that? Look at that, and we're done. <laughs> Let me in this train wreck. <laughs> uh, I do got a couple super chats here. Um, Unboxing Art says, uh, careful when Ryan's around your Joes now. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Be careful because I'll steal them. <laughs> uh, doesn't Ryan have beef with Unparalleled Universe? No, I don't. Fuck, Ryan, how much beef do you have, man? I got a lot of beef. At, at some point, you got to you gotta work with some of these people. You're a fucking toy tuber, legit, dude. Come on. Stop fucking okay. I, hey. No, I'm... <laughs> no, no, no beef with Wade. I've got nothing against that guy whatsoever, man. And uh, con congrats on his uh, successful kick, uh, Kickstarter campaign. So. Yeah. Odious. Oh, uh, that's totally right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I like him. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Um. Greg says, Bobby, people are loving the Vanguard you've been sh showing off. Shared a few picks in the 3POA and LOV groups. Thank that you, Greg. That group's still around, huh? Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marvelous Nerd, thank you for the super chat. Yo, Hatter, it was nice meeting you at San Diego Comic-Con. Sorry for confusing you with Ryan. What? Hopefully, Ryan can make it to SDCC next year. I I'm going to try. I will try. That's just because your impression's so good, Ryan. Hey. That is true. He was <laughs> fucking sp Daniel Day Lewis here. <laughs> I drink your milkshake. <laughs> Jeremy Jernigan. Thank you, sir. The least accurate thing about Hurt Locker is the EOD shows yeah. up in less than eight hours to handle. Shit. Uh, I know. Yeah. You tapped him out. I won that bet. Sorry. There's a fight. <laughs> Hatter's like nice. scrolling through his phone now, yawning. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know nothing uh, about UFC guys. I'm into Ninja Turtles. EOD and UXO don't know what that is. I know. I'm, uh, I'm pretending that I know. Unexploded ordnance. What is it? Okay. So EOD is explosive ordnance disposal. Okay. And a UXO is unexploded ordnance. So he's saying okay. the, the, the least accurate thing is that they show up in less than eight hours to, to deal with a, with a bomb, oh, which gotcha. is very, very true. I hate agreeing with Jeremy, but he's right on this one. <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, everyone. Hatter, thanks for coming on the show. It was a lot of fun, boys. Was it, though? it was. I'm saying it's I, I'm not gonna lie. Okay? <laughs> okay. I mean, I I was hoping you and I can start some real beef, but you know, we okay, name got them. Along. Who, who huh? do we start who do we start beef with? Let's do it. Name them. You guys got a list, man. You got a list of uh of 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 people. Why why do you wanna let's, let's gonna talk add to about, it? Let's psychologically talk about why do you want to start so much beef, dude? Why do you want to fucking Tony and I come with a lot of baggage, so it's Ryan's just guilty <laughs> by association. Well, let, let me ask you a question then, right? If you were egotistical enough to think that uh, you'd actually invented action figure photography to the point where you trademark a fucking acronym in a pathetic attempt to gatekeep a hobby, do you not think it would help to actually be good at taking photos? <laughs> Wait, who did who? <laughs> who is who is guilty of of this crime? Who's the what the so hell you say? <laughs> Well, you know, they're, they're, there's there's this acronym going around about action figure to, you know, with A, A C B D, whatever. I don't know. Elemental P. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh... Ryan's squirming in his chair there. No, I'm not. I'm just like, why? Because <laughs> I'm just having fun, bro. We're just joking around. Yeah, it's, oh, it's cool, right? Wait, like, as you're long just as you're just having fun, it's, it's all right. It's just jokes. You know? 
Yeah. It's just jokes. Oh, my it's bad. It's just Go jokes, ahead. right? If you say it's just jokes, then it's cool, right? Oh, it's like, fine. It's okay. We're just we're having fun. Yeah, we're just yeah, hey, don't, be so, jokes, don't be so don't be so fucking uh sensitive, dude. Like yes. you know, like you're right, Hatter. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> yeah. No, I had a lot of uh I had a lot of fun. I knew I would. Okay. Um can you no. let me say a nice thing before you just jump into the fucking chat? All right, laser pit. Just do what you want to do. Go go ahead. I'm trying to no, be all nice ahead. and have a. I, I was trying to have an Oscar moment, and then you're you're right away like, oh, what's the new chat? Oh, listen, now this is real beef here. This is okay. Nostalgia I mean, unbox got nothing on me. No, that's right. You're busting my balls for real, and so you know I have to come out here and defend myself. Uh, by the way, I have no less than fucking like three dozen people going. Dude, when are you going on 3 POA? And I'm like, I, I first of all, I'm not going to call up Ryan and be like, hey, let me on. I, when he invites me, I'll get on. And then, you know, it's it's so, so there you go. I, I had a, a lot of fucking fun. I knew that I would. Okay. And by the way, I didn't go in blind. I know what 3 POA, I, I, I've, I've watched, as much as you don't want to say I watch, I fucking watch, dude. Okay. All right. I, I'm holding a baby watching your fucking, <laughs> your, 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 uh, your podcast. So, uh, I'm, I'm, well, I've, uh, I've, I've got to, I've got to ask a question now. Watch this. Uh -oh. If three thousand uh -oh. people asked you to come on the show, why did only four hundred and forty-two of them turn up? <laughs> Wait, did I say three thousand? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I, I, I'll be honest, Tony. I'm not very popular. Okay, it's, uh, it's all of <laughs> God. So neither are we, man. <laughs> people love to hate us. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, Andrew Davis, no, I'm not really stealing Joe's. Okay. I took some from my cousin's house when I was like seven. It was, well, we mentioned that on the first show. My cousin was in the chat busting my balls. It was funny. Tony, God, look what you're starting, man. Wow. <laughs> that, that's the newest YouTube beef, me and Tony. There we go. I like it. Dude, that would be, yeah. that would make for a great fucking segment if you guys had a. A moment in time where you were like an uh, argument started and you kind of split the three POA for like a stint and then and then a few years down the line you come back together again. That would fucking that's a beautiful story arc. We'll, I'd rather we'll, we'll like come, we'll know. come back together at, at Valicon 2025 and we'll jelly wrestle. Do, do, do they <laughs> uh, so when it splits, do they fight for custody over me? I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's I, I think that that's I mean, you know, who do you go to, mom or dad? It's a whole it's a whole thing. Um dad. Dad. Okay. Oh, dad. are you? I like how you labeled yourself dad. No, Yo, he's the mom. He, he's <laughs> he's the mom. I'm telling you. I, I only want Bobby on the weekends anyway. So <laughs> absentee father over here. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably end this stream before YouTube bans the channel. I know. Um, the ban is coming. Um, but yes, thank you for inviting me. I had a fun time. I knew that I would. Okay. Um, and, hey, the, uh, the second half was really fun, but you've been. <laughs> You, you've you've been an awesome guest, man. I I love what you're doing. Um, I like you. I like your approach to uh, Thanks, you know dealing with the trolls. So yes. you're welcome back anytime, man. I've had a blast. Link Thank to Hatter's you, channel man. in the description below. Yes. No, we got to deal with the trolls. Remember that? Uh, remember that fucking troll, Ryan, who on your Instagram was like, "Hey, fuck that guy." I'm gonna. Oh. Uh, he was. Uh, he was. Uh, he had to announce. I'm not gonna come on this stream because i'm here so hey x x whatever your fucking name then, is go fuck yourself today. Then, yeah. then he, then he got, then he got butt hurt he got butt hurt because he got a re like a response like yeah, yeah that's no, right he I'm, got all he got I'm allowed to make a comment yeah. i'm allowed to make a comment you can't make a comment you can't make yeah, comment. Yeah. my comment matters only mine yeah. i love social media etiquette it's so awesome it's weird people, people it's, treat yeah. this like it's the fucking dmv it's like dude, dude. You, you, there's no rules here you, you yeah. it's like if you it's step little, out of line you're gonna get spanked yeah i love it little self-awareness would go a long way um no, i love it but uh no for real thank you uh for bringing me on i had a lot of fun and i know yeah. uh I knew there. How does Hatter deal with the trolls? This is how we deal with the trolls, man. This is this 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 whole thing comes with fucking trolls. Okay, so it's just it's, uh, uh, it's part and parcel. Go in his comment section. You'll see. It's great. Yeah, good time. But I love what you guys do. Um, you guys all have like your specific uh, 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 qualities that I, I really love, and um, um, keep on fucking rocking in the free <laughs> world. Okay. <laughs> I like I, I like your qualities too, Hatter. Yeah, thank you. Thank I you. I can see, never really. Is... I can never Wait. really beef with you, man. No, you can't. Okay, yeah. because you know you you secretly love me. Okay, even though you you make you make thumbnails where I look like a fucking idiot. Next time, <laughs> next time, let me send you let me send you like a nice headshot, please, and maybe you sure, use okay. that. Consult me first. I, let me yeah. look real handsome, 
my my skinny side instead of fucking just what you did right there. So that's, instead that's of like the, the, the the like from under the camera, like thirteen chins. Yeah, man. Like, like let me yeah. let me cat let me catfish people a little bit and have them think, wow, this guy's really fucking good looking, and then let him be <laughs> fooled when I cut when when when. I mean, just, just a, a little basic thing like having his eyes open would be a big improvement. Yeah, maybe, yeah, exactly. Maybe my eyes are open. Maybe I don't look like I just fucking smoked a bunch of shit. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Dude. I'm, I'm saying, I, again, this is a simple critique. I, I, it's just a, just take the criticism and uh, we'll move on next time. You know, I'll see you. I'll see you next week. You're not, you're not allowed to criticize me. Well, then you got to ban me then. Listen, who do you think you are? Who, who do you think yeah. you are? Dude, my dream is ne is 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 a four hour Ninja Turtle stream. That's oh my, my goal. Like, a, imagine like a three poa four hours of talking about Ninja Turtles. I think that that would fucking be great. Your okay, dream but, is my we'll, nightmare. We'll, <laughs> we'll do it, right? But it'll just be me and you, and I'll be watching UFC the whole time, and then you'll be talking about the turtles. I know. Yeah, I I think yeah. All right. Bobby's completely checked out. So uh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Sincerely, thank you for uh, for the invite. I had you're welcome. Yes. And thanks to all the new channel members. We'll see you in a week, two, three. I don't know. We'll let you know later.